Oh, wait, guys, it. sorry. I can't do this podcast, man. That will just upload it, dude. No, oh, don't you was... dare do that to me. <laughs> don't you meme us, brothers. <laughs> Settle just up. Look at your ass. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the OSRS podcast where we talk about RuneScape-related content with RuneScape-related content creators. I'm one of your hosts, Mint Mad Cow, with some sexy people. <laughs> I know. What's going on, boys? Rakesy, as always. How's it going? And it's me, Wesco. And I'll be introducing boy. my boy, Nate. All right. This man with the What's highlights, up? he streams literally 24 hours every day, and he dances. <laughs> Cur- currently on like 30 hours no sleep, so. There we oh, go. So my. if he looks a little like Alfie, that's why, all right? So. We're flex, but okay. <laughs> dude, the cortisol levels are all messed up. We're going to be fixing it soon, though. Don't there worry. we that's go, it. dude. But yeah, so welcome, Nate. It. Glad to have you, man. I like I like dude, it's place. a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to be here. You're like my homie from like when I'm, we both started streaming around the same time, right, Cal? I dude, I don't even know. I've I bet you I'm noticed years, me when man. you started, but I was like beforehand doing some real, real dirty slayer, like some shitty no F keys, lobster eating <laughs> ass slayer. No one was watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Two thousand like fourteen, bro. Like the DH days, bro. Back when like the main accounts were actually in Bounty Hunter. Remember that? Now they're like nowhere to be found. Except for like a few in PvP worlds, and that's about it. Yeah, man. That, but the wilderness that's needs fixing. Um, but, Rakesy, you want to talk about the sponsorship real quick in the beginning here that we just got or might be taking, probably. Okay. Uh, like, do we want to do we want to speak about it? Like, what's yeah, let's, going on? let's talk about yeah, like yeah, just yeah. a little bit. Just okay. talk about that. Last time we brought up sponsorships on channels, and then that same day, Rakesy got hit up by a sponsor, a RuneScape sponsor, non sketchy. We're all making a grand. Uh, <laughs> 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 not, even, not even close. But we're going to be using the money yeah. from the sponsorship to put into the yeah. channel. We're not going to pocket any of it. We haven't made a cent, to be honest, out of the year and a yeah. half of work. We just love talking. <laughs> no. So, yeah, the um, the sponsorship, I guess I can talk about it. It's fine. It's, uh, it's a website. I'm not going to give any spoilers right now. But it's a website which I, I, yeah, I personally feel like this website for like a a side thing from runescape it definitely fits in the community and there's a place for it and i think that it could help a lot of you guys out it'd probably help a lot of us out to be honest as well and um like the way that i see it is the money that we get from that sponsorship and we're not talking thousands or anything like that it's just a little bit but (laughs) it's gonna be it's gonna be more than what we're getting right now which is nothing so, I mean, the way that I see it personally is we can put that money into like, you know, we can change this entire interface. We could like get someone to make a badass intro for us and potentially like upgrade our equipment that we use. So basically putting all of it back into the podcast. That's how I see it. But this yeah. website is more compared to like RuneScape Wiki, you know, just nothing sketchy, boys. All right. I just yeah. want to throw that out There's there. There's no snaking, no gambling. What? So. <laughs> sorry you're not getting your cut now dude all right it's over it, it will 100 percent go into the podcast there aren't going to be any like on the down low snapchats between us free like at mcdonald's eating our 25 dollars <laughs> worth of cheeseburgers like <laughs> yeah i ain't gonna happen i ain't even trying to make uh, money out of this i'm just trying to grow this bad boy um <laughs> Yeah, we can do so much for the podcast. So Burger yeah, I, I, on, on a real note though, yeah, it, I, I think that we'll just be able to like ascend the podcast to a, a better level because yeah, right yeah. now, like we said, we really haven't made any money from this. We're not doing it for money. We just like talking about RuneScape. So you know, happy days. But if we can make money to like actually make this podcast better, you know, let us know we what you guys nice think, intro, boys. You know, and I, I am genuinely curious. Like, if yeah. you guys don't want there to be a, a sponsorship on this podcast, an ongoing one. And let us know why. And uh, I am very interested to find out why you guys would be against it or yeah. if you're for it. All right, Dude, all right. If you guys want me to listen, I have an idea too. If you want me to dance, I can do that. That's also Dude, a great idea. We're not oh, going to yeah, pay yeah. you though. All right. Like, <laughs> yeah, pay, I will pay you to let me dance on your podcast. Yeah, awesome. I mean, if you want to dance, right. okay. you, give us a little dance, bro. <laughs> give us a little dance. Right, hold on. What's like a good? How about we dance to? Sea Can we get shanty? the Ricardo song on? I'm just oh, Sea yeah, Shanty's yeah. Oh, not. Man. I'll put on Sea Shanty. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll tell you when to get go. It doesn't have to be crazy. All I'm right, just like, guys. I'm gonna be the cringiest dude on this podcast. I haven't slept. So we I'm we just, have to hit <laughs> 500 <laughs> likes gonna, on this video because he's dancing now. All right, just dude, saying. Like, right. We gotta we gotta double test for us. You know, Nate's might be the only. All one, right, dude. I'm gonna let you. Can you have your earphones plugged in or? 
I got? do right here. All right, here. let me. I want to say, I got this. I got this here. How do I do this? Here? Oh, no, I just turned on my camera. That's not how we do that. Oh, my God. What have you done? <laughs> what have I done, dude? What have I done? <laughs> oh, my God. All right, did I fix it? Did I fix it? Yeah, I see it. I see it. Okay, no, boys. Can you hear this? Can you hear this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. All right, Nate. Tell me when you're ready, bro. All right, so how long is the song? Two minutes? We'll do like maybe like 30 seconds. Yeah, 30 I'll follow seconds. That. I'll good. follow that, dude. Right. Oh, man, look at those okay. shoes. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Yo. Profession, dude. Like he should yeah, be like yeah, a, a yeah. strip dancer or something. Oh, hold on. One thousand oh, likes, boys. Oh. All right. Oh, yeah, that, was, that was awesome, man, dude. That was awesome. Thank oh. you. I had to, I had to take one for the team, bro. Yeah. Dude, those shoes. What shoes are they, man? They look insane. Some Air Jordans or something up in that bitch? What do you? Bro, they're honestly like they're like forty bucks on Amazon, dude. Really? Those are a little more expensive than what Rice Sponsored? had me get there. What's up, Rice? I could have got these bad boys. Yo, can we sponsor those? Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> Check this out. They like strobe too. Yeah. Oh my yeah, god. I see, I see dude, they're sick. It's, when when it's nighttime, it, it's nicer. It's even nicer. At night. You need to bring those to RuneFest if you come to RuneFest night. Oh, I'm going to for sure. Yes. Yeah, you're gonna basically be the star of the. Uh, what is it? The audience stage? The right? nerds. No. <laughs> everyone's, just gonna, everyone's just gonna crowd up on you in a circle and chanting your name like oh. Oh. See shanties blaring. Um okay. Yeah. So we're gonna do the Q and A to Nate Braun. Does anyone wanna start off with a RuneScape related question than a personal one? Okay, if I may. Alright, go for it. I always like to go first just because I feel like you guys are gonna take the stuff I'm thinking about. <laughs> okay, Damn. so I'll take I'll take the easy one. Okay. All right, so I have two questions. Um, how long have you been playing RuneScape Four? And Every also, how long? Have... Time. <laughs> oh yeah, it's. I, I want to know if this. I want to know if he's old school or if he's a new fag, as they say. New and fag. also, <laughs> you can't say that on the podcast. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh god! <laughs> At least we're not streaming. Oh, that's true. That's true. That would be bad. And you too. <laughs> also, when did you start streaming? Because you've been streaming for a very yeah. long time. Dude, you took my question. <laughs> okay, so I've been playing RuneScape since 2004. I actually had uh, two good friends of mine that I grew up with because my parents got divorced. I won't get into this long conversation, but like basically I took the train down to San Diego every other weekend. I saw these guys, my stepbrother, we would kick it, ride our, down hills on skateboards on our ass, green machines, riding down the staircase with like, you know, carbo boxes and stuff like that. And the, they taught me what RuneScape was. Long story short, um, I ended up scamming this dude's brother. <laughs> well, I got scammed. What a twist! What a fucking I, twist, I, dude! No, 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 I didn't. I, I hustled him, bro. So, like, he wanted the he wanted a, a Pokemon card, right? I was like, yo, what you want? Right? The Noctowl, you know, the shiny Noctowl. He comes through with the full Mithril. The dude bangs on, my, on our door, like, two hours later. My dad runs out of the shower, like, freaking in his bathrobe and tells him to get the hell out of here because he was, like, freaking out, dude. That I took. He, like, realized that he got scared. <clears throat> For full myth, for a fucking wow. octal, dude. I might take the myth to be honest. So, which was the worst deal, the, the the card or the armor? I think the card's um, the better deal, but let's noctowl, man. I'd, I'd be taking the myth. Wait, right? wait, is wait noctowl? Are you thinking of the? It's the Pokemon. Wait, that dude? Hold on, it's the bird owl. Yeah. It's, it's, oh my it's god! Owl, it's hoot hoot, and then oh. he blows it to noctowl. All right, nerd. Yo, I, I, I do all that yo, shit. Yo. I don't know if you saw me put my head down, but I I pressed my chin against some kind of key in my computer, and everything's jacked up. And he like, 
Oh, Fuck, you hack the interface, good. bro. Fine. You hack the interface. I thought, I thought you were talking about Nine Tails. Who trades any Pokemon card yeah. that isn't a shiny? No, who, no, it was, a, it was a it was a shiny Noctowl. No one cares about Noctowl, oh. bro. Dude, me and my friend like, used to play Noctowl poker for like shitty Rattata of Pokemon cards when we were like nine. We played like twenty one. Uh, We'd be like, here's a Volt Torf. It's like I don't know, dude. Like, that that was like that was like an older generation of Pokemon cards. I think that was like Neo something. Neo yeah, that was Genesis like first... or something. I was, I was gonna Yo, slap you. Said Neo Pets. Right. I was gonna. You know, Rake does a lot of <laughs> TCG, Pokemon TCG. Yeah, hey man, I got a whole YouTube channel on Pokemon cards. I know my stuff. Oh my I god, I remember I watching that video. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Mad respect for that. Dude. First time I saw you, like That's this guy's a husky boy, dude. He's fucking bro. Yeah. Damn, dude. See you know, he's a gangster, but like you know, when no one's checking, he's playing Pokemon cards. You know. Yeah, man. The first thing I moved into this house was my two massive boxes of. Airtight sealed containers that are oh. filled with Pokemon cards. First PS thing, graded? very PS first. Graded. A few oh. of them are. Yeah, I got a few oh, PSA graded. Yeah. Wow. A few first edition Blastoise PSA graded. Same for. Uh, there's Nintendo any uh, female dude, viewers. How much are those, man? Hit me Holy up. Crap. All right. Uh, must be the Nido for... King is sick. Dude, the Nido <laughs> King is a PSA eight. It's like fucking mint, right? Really, oh, obviously, shit. ten's the best you can get. It's an eight. I picked it off right, on. Right. Like, I bought all of my Pokemon cards on eBay. Okay, I know this is a RuneScape podcast. For those of you already typing in the comments, moaning and shit, who cares? Right, <laughs> they all anyways. love Pokemon. Either. <laughs> yeah, they they all love Pokemon. Pokemon bro. They can't hate. They can't so hate. I always bought my cards on eBay, and I always bought from auctions. So I always got good deals, and I knew the prices. The Nido King I bought for fifty pounds, right? And it's now worth like PSA eight. I think it's between two hundred and three hundred pounds. So I've like three or four times my money. And nice. I also bought a PSA 4 Blastoise first edition, and that was like 40 pounds. And that's now worth like 300 plus. Ooh, like, actually baby. worth bank. I, do you want me to go more, get them? Right? Should I get them? Do you want me to get them? <laughs> I really want to get them. If you want okay, okay. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go grab them. In case his YouTube ever dies, he's got this to fall yeah. back on, yeah. guys. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Pokemon <laughs> card <laughs> trading. Pokemon are like my retirement money, dude. I don't have a pension. Fucking Christ. This is my no pension. <laughs> the plan B, dude. We don't have a 401k, so he is the smarter one out of all of us, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I've been saving a little bit. Like, if I, I get Carpal Tunnel, dude, it's over for me, man. It's yeah. just... I'm buying a new hand. No, no, it's not, because there is other options. Oh, yeah, Nate. Yeah, so... That's one issue I've had. So I've had to I've had to turn into the next amenity pretty much for PKing. Um, I have oh. to use my keyboard. To, I have to click with my keyboard now. Um, hey, that's so not I, fun though, man. Oh, no, sorry. it's how, how listen, it dude. So listen, dude. It's not that. It's not that bad actually. It sucks, but it's really not that bad. But it sucks. I bet. Yeah, you just started doing it, right? How's the transition? I, yeah, yeah. So I actually really like the feel to it. Even on my Iron Man, I enjoy doing it a lot. Um, I can do sometimes I can do an eight way, but it's still like not easy. And like even like something like so on my on my pure seventy five attack pure, I can do a three way pretty easily. But right. things like tracking and like everything else is difficult. But like switch fakies are easier, but everything else is hard. So I mean it's not an easy transition. I get stressed out when I'm PK and on stream. I can't really do the tribriding right now because it's just like so hard to get the muscle memory down right now. Yeah, but, once you um, get it down though, it, it should be. Easy. I know I'm gonna get. Oh down shit! He has possible. the original container, dude. Oh, Open one of those that's bad boys. Nostalgia, that's, boy. Look at that. Wait, that's <laughs> Lapras. Oh, that's Lapras with the fossils, dude. Right? Dude. The... Open one of those I bad boys it. up yeah. for stream, dude. No, oh, dude, they're shit. like they're like thirty bucks a pack, man. I ain't fucking open them. Look, <laughs> that's a whole sponsorship right there. Dude. There we yeah, go, man. Lapras boys. Sponsored by Wizard of the Coast. Let's go. Holy shit! How old are these things? Are we doing a giveaway? I don't know how old are what are we doing old, here? These are probably over 10 years old. They're for like, your if... chance to win a Pokemon packet original, oh. dude. All right, like, subscribe, tell your grandma. Racy will send it out first class, dude. <laughs> one in one million chance that <laughs> if, we, if, we, if we hit 100k subs on... Dude, oh, let's hit 10k <laughs> first, baby. 10k, baby. Right, oh, so my. I only have... Uh, I've got I got so many fucking cards in here. It's actually ridiculous. I've got so yeah. much shit. So here are free cards that you guys might like. You may you may like them. So as Limited I said, uh, we're, we're start off with a shadowless Charizard that is in. Oh, yeah, that is bro. fucking oh clean, God. dude. That Ooh, makes me hard. Amazing, bro. I had one on hollow and Ooh, I lost bro. it. Holy shit. Look at those green wings, baby. You could literally oh, give that to a lady yeah. on the street oh. and she would be with you for like 24 hours, whatever you want. Oh, Just God, saying. yeah. 
And it's uh, it's shadowless dude. as well. If you guys know anything about Pokemon, there's yeah, no shadow. Yeah, on the no side. shadow on the border. Oh. That's amazing, dude. Personally, yeah. I think Venusaur. I don't really like Venusaur, but the card itself, the green, like the the holographic, it looks so good. Boy, get your Venusaur loving ass out of here. No one loves Venusaur, <laughs> man. <laughs> I hate Venusaur. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I got a, a couple of Venusaurs like kicking around here somewhere. A couple of Venusaurs. Like, like, dude, they're so hard to find. What do you mean you got a couple? Yeah, but... these are old, dude. dude. Like, they're you old. Don't even... You do not know how many fucking po dude, I got so many. Like, look, here's a Shadowless Blastoise, mint condition. Here is a PSA first edition oh my Blastoise. Gosh, the nostalgia, look at that chubby bro. fucker. Holy moly. Look at that fucking beauty, man. What is it? So nice. PSA four, but it's in like it's in superb condition. Do you got yeah, the fat what, Pikachu? What does that even mean? What what is the PSA rating? So mean, really, the quality basically. Do you want to like, do you want to explain got, it, uh, Re? You got uh, rated. Well, I don't right exactly now. know how they do it, but it's basically okay. how how perfect the card is in terms of like if it Dude. just came out like production <clears throat> yeah so production. let me I, i'll give you a quick so psa it's a company it's like one of the oldest companies that have been great in any kind of sporting card whether it be like baseball because i know that's big in america uh football yeah. soccer whatever anything where there was like a craze for a card they're like the ogs when it comes to grading cards they take into consideration the moisture and like, you know, like when you take a pack, when you take a card from the pack and you touch the hollow, if you've touched that hollow too much and there's smudges on it, they're yeah. downgrade you for it. It, it gets like, bumpy. That's yeah, well. it's insane. In fact, you can pull cards straight from these packs and where the uh, the box has been kept in like a poor condition and maybe there's like a bit of white chip on the side, it will never get a PSA 10. But um, yeah, I've got a PSA 4 first edition Blastoid. I fucking love this card, mainly oh. because I, it basically was free. And considering what it's worth now, it's beautiful. PSA awesome, eight Nido King, which is beautiful. But um, yeah, the great the grading is like it's done by the biggest, most anal experts of card grading <laughs> ever. Like seriously, like it, it, they take into consideration like the moisture on the cards. They fucking test these cards to make sure Moist. that if it, if it is a ten, nay, bro, what have you started, a, dude? What have you started wow. right here? <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, he's gonna be like... pulling out his yearbook. There was me, fucking. <laughs> And here's Dude. my girlfriend. From <laughs> yeah, like, There's no one that shit all over herself. See, smiling. Like, like, <laughs> right, I get. All right, so nice. look, you, everyone knows Charizard. This is a shadows. If this was a first yeah. edition Charizard, okay. <clears throat> if this was first edition, and I pulled it myself, and I sent it off to PSA, and it came back as a, a grade ten, I believe a first edition Charizard PSA ten. I think it's between ten and fifteen thousand USD. Oh, okay, for a PSA oh, 10. Wow. And then dropping down oh. from PSA 10 to PSA 9, because it's not so desirable, like the price like plummets. Like you're looking at maybe like three, four thousands. And then anything yeah. under that, it just keeps going down and down yeah, and down. Yeah, exponentially worse. Yeah. yeah. Jeez, so, bro. PSA are like, you know, they're like the gods of grading cards. So if you yeah. get a PSA card and it's graded a certain number, chances are it deserves that for whatever fucking reason. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, I, I love you. I love your cards, man. But we got to get back to Runescape. It ain't the OSRS <laughs> podcast for fucking yeah, cards. No, I, I think I think a lot of people appreciates this, like the expertise. That was yeah, just, that was oh, that dude. was pretty cool, dude. Yeah, you should, should, honestly, bro, that's something that like you should show some girls, bro. Yeah, I think that's you? Might. I might I'd be impressed. Card, I'd fuck you, you know. I just yeah, that's anything. definitely like it. That's a unique. That's like a like yo, check out my card stack. Like, that's like <laughs> check out my beanie bag I, collection. Check I don't know if I trust them. Dude, case, like, yeah, don't what? don't show it to them. They might if like tarnish I, it. Yeah, these are under my bed, so like. If I go to I the shower and leave them in my room and they slip blood. a Charizard in their pocket, man, like, you it's know. Over, dude. It's yeah, over. Yeah, you gotta keep it next to you. It's ripped. You gotta keep it next to you. Dude. Yeah, what's the other oh, yeah. question? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, oh, yeah, so I started playing 2004, and I've been streaming since, like, 2014. I took a six-month break when I first started. I had a lot of stuff come up. Um, but uh, pretty much, I think I've been on Twitch, I know it's since 2014, like, October, like, verified. And then I'd say at least, so how many years ago is that? Like, barely five I probably just been streaming for like four years now. Yeah. There we go, dude. So you know, I've been going yeah. for five. So we were like super close there. Yeah, you, me, Alfie, Graphist, and JMR. Well, I thought I was. I know I was really close to like starting with those guys, and I feel like you were like definitely before me, but like not that much further. Because I, I remember when Mint used to stream on Aloha. Yeah, I dude. I remember. Dude, I remember dude, when Aloha, Aloha, Aloha was blew up first week. Skirt, I was dude. doing that shit for. I wasn't good. That was the thing. I was so bad at fucking. <laughs> yeah, wait, I mean, yo. Yeah, yeah. He had a potato, you know, Mac though. <laughs> yes, he did. Wait, Mint, Mint, did you ever go for like, did you ever do uh, like Iron Man when it first came out? Because I know, uh, I remember when you I said did. Aloha. 
Iron Man PK, doing... Unlegit Iron Man, Real Iron Man, Hardcore Iron Man, Ultimate nice, Iron nice. Man. I've been through that whole craze, dude. So when people be like, why don't you play yeah. the real game? Like, bitch, I created the real game, dude. I played all that <laughs> shit. All right. Now I'm slapping <laughs> cheeks. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Yeah. That's funny. That, dude, I, I just had like flashbacks, bro, because I used to watch Aloha when he was going for the Varex skirt and he had like a little overlay that like had a Pokeball like, thrown at a Varex skirt or whatever and like didn't catch. It was, <laughs> a little, it was like a little gif and I just remember seeing that. Yeah. Um, he I was bet, so dry in that Varex skirt. I bet I can get a you know, lot. I bet I can get Tyler on the podcast. I don't know. He doesn't really stream he, anymore, he, but we can ask nah, the community. Would he's, you? He's, he's, I think a lot of people. He left. I wouldn't mind getting he's Tyler. He's an OG, on. bro. He's definitely an OG in most. I hit up on Twitter see if he's free because I went. Yeah. I went to Hawaii one time. We hung out and got some shaved ice because he lives over there. That's and... sick, dude. Uh, yeah, bro. He's living that good life, man. He's got his dog <laughs> surfing and shit. I'm like, what is wrong with you, boy? <laughs> 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 dude that All sounds right, amazing man what the so fuck? Mate, are you asking or am i going yeah you can go i'll, I'll save my dirty okay. question right, for so that okay let's let's start with runescape related so okay. when you when you start playing um let's say your first few years what what was kind of like your main activities what what did you focus on pming skilling or, you know, <laughs> just embracing the experience dad <laughs> yeah dude, that's it <laughs> that's pretty much it bro i don't even remember bro i think i was too fried <laughs> off to like like smoking weed out of plastic bottles in high school i can't remember that <laughs> stuff like so <laughs> that could I probably mean, like, have an effect up, like okay like don't straight up right, let me okay yeah. so what i remember is in Mon monk robes dragon simi dds i died i cried i quit i didn't quit my parents made me quit i woke up 2 a.m to play every day paranoia it's a haiku that's all i remember bro okay that's all i remember bro okay. i heard a gate, so, i heard a gate close every day and i would wake so, up and so I'd start playing. when you were lucid you know for like the first time when you were actually like <laughs> oh i actually know what i'm doing in game what were you doing yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay bro okay well if you really want to know okay I, I remember like you ever like think back to like nostalgic times and you can actually feel it i, so I, I can i I can see when I was on Tutorial Island, I can see the rats. I can see it, bro. I see that can one you dude. Smell it? Can you smell it? Vanica. I can smell the nostalgia. I can smell like I was at first I was like, this game sucks. And then I was addicted. And I can't remember what happened after that. I think I was just too in the zone. Um I remember like not in the weed, right? Just in the zone. No, no, because I didn't smoke weed. And the like weed. 16. He was like oh, okay, okay. Six, see, 16. Okay. No, when I was 16. So we're talking like when I was like, what, 10? That, I wasn't smoking weed when I was 10. I was a little innocent. Right? <laughs> yeah, I hope not. Still am. I try to be. But yeah, okay, so anyways, yeah, I, I remember doing all that. BH Crater, man, was a great time for me, I, although I hated it when the wilderness was okay. there. Okay, but it sounded um, like you were into the PKing for the most part. Well, the I didn't get into PKing until like 2009, 2010 at the latest. Oh, okay, so, yeah, yeah, that's why um, I was first, when you were losing, you know, those years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, dude, <didn't> think. <laughs> we, have, we have to, yo, just go on YouTube and type in Yoga Nate. You'll see some cringe videos of me doing that. We'll have to watch PK. one. We'll have to oh, pull yeah, it up to later. One. Oh, yo, dude, I'll, yeah, I'll find yeah. one right now. Yo, I'll Please find a do. really cringe. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, all your final one, dude. So you smoked out of a bottle. See, all I did when I was a kid, I was trying to stick my dick in bottles, and they wouldn't fit. Anyone else try that? I tried to stick well, my I dick in a Powerade that. bottle. It wouldn't fit. And I was like, just trying I, to make love remember. to a bottle here. You know, all, right, dude, just, all you have to do is play the first, like the first like five seconds of this video, and like that's gonna make the cut, dude. I think. It's like I, I'm. Oh, just, oh, look at those. Like, Seventeen up, minutes. Damn, this man was going for the ten minute timer back in the day, wasn't he? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Uh, I like his title. Uh, RuneScape Barrels Pure Pecan Concert, but you're wearing Rune. <laughs> <laughs> well, like Barrels Pure, you know, 70 defense piety. Oh, okay. okay. Hey, man, look, it was, look, at, look, at, look at the like to dislike ratio, though, bro. I think I did all right. Yeah, yeah, it was positive. Mostly. Look at the. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> now, guys, I have a YouTube channel. This is not it. This from like high school, I actually made a few funny videos on it too. But anyways, you can roll, you can roll if you want. Yeah, you can does share. It, it. Does it have comments? What's up, guys? Big yes. Nate Dog. With my first <laughs> Big Nate Dog. Uh, <laughs> um, my username oh my is I don't talk PK, and um, uh, I'm permanently muted, and it really sucks. <laughs> don't advertise Shit, uh, private servers. <laughs> anyways, I stopped playing private dog. servers a long ass time ago. <laughs> anyways, uh, I'm a whip to Karasi. I uh, oh. just recently got 98 attack. Uh, I've been working on it for 99. I'm uh, 660k off of 99, so I should have it. We'll flip that Let's up. See a PK, you dumb it. shit. What's up, man? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's no. go, dude. No, look at those animations from back in the dude, day. Holy you see, fuck! The, uh, Remember dude, the, the Phoenix necklace right, on room. Right this man risking a whip, dude. What a beast. <laughs> he says, no, "Don't oh. save." This is back when you could. 
Dude, if you brought a torso, like a torso, crossy. any untradeables, you just told you to lose them. So. so, like, you couldn't bring, like, a fire cape or a torso. Oh, I remember that shit. Oh, yeah, these were, like, the really <laughs> shitty days, man. They yeah. fucked this stuff big time. I want to see the damn Karasi <laughs> spec, dude. Hit it. Fuck. Oh, he's <laughs> low. He's just waiting. He's waiting for half HP. Bro. There. There you go. He's go! Dude, I just I am angry. Holy shit, he's dead right here. Fuck. Come on, where's the KO, dude? We didn't know the strats back then, bro. The elder strats uh, were. You think the strats sketch. to kill someone on Killboy HP? Go, Fuck yeah. me, dude. It's always sketch, dude. Oh, man. It's always sketch, dude. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Your talking pattern hasn't changed. <laughs> oh, right come on! Yo. Oh, 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 my God. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there's, there's plenty of kills. I think I killed a J-Mod a few times there, too. Wow. Oh, wow. No, that's, that's what's Bro, up, dude. If, if you had that in today's time, that shit would blow up. Killing a J-Mod in the wilderness. New new idea, new video. Yeah, it, it really would. Yeah, it really would. That All shit right. is <laughs> Let me go back and edit the title. <laughs> there we go, dude. There we go. Uh, I think it's too late now. Those old videos, they, they just <laughs> I have a lot of cringe vids that I can't find the password for on other yeah, YouTube, so they're great. just out there. Still yeah, man, you're next. Bro. Okay. Next. All right, well... That's what uh what's the first story of you dry humping someone my pillow when i was like not wait wait, wait. people are like objects sorry you know we'll uh, take both for answer <laughs> c <laughs> <laughs> people are objects i mean i guess yeah. did the pillow have a name so. first just... person i dry hump uh -huh. uh, would have to probably be mimi from middle school Oh, that's a weird dude name. That's, that's a racy a... story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell us, tell yeah. us more, man. Tell us more. Well, you know, we did the class of like, ah, that kind of thing. You know, like you know, play play it smooth. And then I don't know, dude. We never really like. We, she went back to my crib. From what I can remember, we played some. Uh, Was it Star actually Wars. a crib? Was it? <laughs> my grandparents' crib. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we played. Uh, we played Star Wars Adventure. What the heck was it called? It was on the Xbox, guys. Please help me out, man. Star Wars. I, I know what you're talking about. Um, Legos. Lego. Battlefront. Battlefront no. Two. No. Battlefront okay. Two, dude. And I, I think I think she humped my leg. I maybe it was the cat though. I really can't remember. Oh, like, not Shane. Was, like, second. No. The second. <laughs> It wasn't yeah, that next, memorable, huh? Next question. I just because I, I can't remember, dude. I would love to tell you, but I can't. Yeah. I, it's not there. It's not there. It's See, not I good. like but, I but like the that answer though. The pillow, the pillow was was straight, not dry. It was definitely. It was it um, uh, what's that word, dude? Mutual <laughs> for the pillow? Was it? <laughs> <laughs> was it consensual? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think after like the twenty. Come on, you little I shit. Did. Mate, do you know what? Yes. I, I, I never I, hugged I, anything when I was young. Like, never pillows. Like, if I I'm hugged, just, it would have been No water party. bottles, dude? None? Am I the no, only guy? No, no, no. Pies, no, bro. Yeah, the, no, no apple pie, no jelly jar. I went from Aquafina what? to Gatorade to Powerade finally fit almost. Fucking. Dude, I nice. remember. <laughs> almost. <laughs> Weird flex, I had, like, okay. a trauma. I had a traumatizing uh, a moment with humping stuff. I remember I was at one of my friends' house. We were really young. And he had like loads of toys, and he he showed me how he humped them, and I was just like, "That's the weirdest <laughs> shit I've ever fucking seen in my life, dude." Like, this is <laughs> yeah, it was so he it was on his Did bed humping naked? his fucking cuddly toys. No, he have wasn't seen, naked. Have you seen those surreal entertainment videos, bro? There's the one I need to share with you guys. If you haven't seen yet, it's it's really really good for content. I don't know. Dude, uh, I, it's, I, called, it's called RuneScape sure. in a nutshell. It's called RuneScape in a nutshell. Oh, I, just, that was you, advertised. Yeah, it was advertised to me. I hadn't seen it though. Is it good? I just posted, dude. You have to watch it at least. Like, oh my video. god! Oh what my the god. fuck is this, I dude? No, <laughs> no, I promise you, it's probably the best watch. Even like the full video on the podcast would be even good. It's three and a half. All right, all right, all right. Uh, and then I'm once watch like the first thirty seconds. Once we watch this, we'll jump into RuneScape content. I promise, yeah. chat. All right, just. Yeah. <laughs> You're amazing. Oh my Ron god! Nation, this is that. the guest request. What the fuck is this? First, <laughs> what the fuck is okay? <laughs> it's Lumbridge, bro. Dude, <laughs> wow, Lumbridge back in 2005 looked like this. Dude, I okay. would play this. Wow, oh. I was just created into this vast world with endless activities. I know just what I want to do. With his nose. Oh my god, <laughs> dude. Yo. What an experience. <laughs> this brings me great joy. Hello, I am <laughs> How can I help you? 
Oh my god. Um, yeah, hello, I would like to sell my bronze scimitar and buy a mithril one. Boy, okay. Boy, have you see that? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> you guys see that? She has armor changed. His armor changed, right? Look at it. Oh, wait, no, that's the different guy. I'm up there. I'm up there. Fuck it. I'm so confused over here. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. That's the bro, why can't I take it? You can't hold it, bro. Why not? Your attack level is too low. <laughs> Everyone's wow. smoking right now. They're it's having a great time. It's literally just a different color. <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> the oh footsteps. Are these goblins? <laughs> Listen to this. Hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> what's up, bro? <laughs> He's, look, look at him flexing. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that noise. Yikes. That sounds like Oh, scary. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good. That's too funny. Can... Go, go to the cow one. Let's go to the okay, cow one. Okay, okay. Where's the cow one, dude? <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Alright, alright. Cow one. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I swear to God, if you don't stop killing my cows, bad things are gone. What the fuck is this, dude? No, that's gonna give me nothing. What's the big deal, bro? They just respond. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, okay, I can't. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, it's face. Oops. Oh, that was really funny though, Dave. That was so funny, dude. It's, it's good, dude. Yeah, it's, right. it's really good. It's, shout out to Surveillance Entertainment. <laughs> check check it out. It. Yeah, search it up. I it promise works. we're going to start talking about RuneScape <laughs> updates now. All right, guys? So, yeah. that was, <laughs> we're having too much fun here. Uh, um, <laughs> Pokemon cards, dude. Dude, that was right. fucking awesome, though, man. That was so funny. funny. That, that, was some, that was organic <laughs> content, dude. I liked it. That was fun. So, it was. I'm going to do a little segue here. If you know what the bounty hunter teleport is, it lets you teleport somebody deep only that's your target, <clears throat> but it can be in multi even if they say it's in singles. So they'll death yeah. dot in singles, you'll teleport into multi, and then you'll just constantly die, right? Oh, and yeah. this is a great way to PK, but that is probably seen as something that's negative. I, I would even call it a bug. Well, yep. Mod <clears throat> Ash finally on St. Patrick's Day, he's having a beer, says he's going to fix it so that you don't land in deeper wildy or multi when they're in single way. So that is being fixed, and I believe it's already in game, as Nate Bros said, right? Is it in game? Yeah, it's in game. <clears throat> as of today, I believe. Yeah, as of the update. Um, Have you I tried it out? Um, I haven't yet because I was doing Iron Man content. And I, I was okay. just out of it. So um, I'm gonna try it tonight. But yeah, I'm really excited because I mean, I posted a clip. I lost claws because of that. It'll say like <laughs> your target is near singles, and you'll be like, okay, teleport out, and there's a whole clan waiting there with ancient mace, bro. And it's just it's right. so dumb. They don't do that much anymore because <clears throat> I'll take a bunch of people and I'll go hunt their ass. <laughs> So they <laughs> Good, get real I scared. Need, th I salute you, bro. Thank you, man. I need to. We should squad up sometime and make I'm it. Down, happen. Dude. We'll I, slap all they, their most, asses, bro. Let me, let me tell you, most of the time they suck so bad, like so bad. I'm telling you, man. Like I've actually, I've killed like two to three of them at a time before. Like, like if it's like two or three of them, oh, like dude, sitting, they do out, like, not say, know what they're doing. Yeah. By black salamanders, bro. That's where the scrubs are, man. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude. For like, real. The, the, the more like okay teams are by like KBD and are by like uh, I'd say what's that? What's that place by Dark Knight's Fortress or whatever? Like that. Black like, Cave. Rev Cave. Uh, Black uh, nice. Oh, war, war, yeah, it's the Rev Cave war. entrance right there too. Yeah. The one where you can, the one where you can, you do a hard clue and you can chin there. That one. The Bandit Camp. The Bandit Camp. Black Knight's well, Fortress. The, you got all of them right. The, the, Everything the you said Knight. is right. Dark yeah, Dark yeah. Knight. Hey, what happened to Black Knight? Right. <laughs> there's Black Knight and there's Dark Warriors Fortress. I think it is Dark Warriors. Maybe. I think it's I Black know. Knight's Fortress. I don't think it's Dark Warriors. Well, I don't know. Dark, I think it's actually it cool. Oh, now we're looking it up. Oh, man. Now we're looking it up, dude. Oh, he's researching. <laughs> he's deep in this info. It's called the Dark Warriors Fortress. God damn it. I thought it was Black Knights. Why? Because they're different. Fine. All right. Well, 
the funny part I see about this, okay, 400 likes. Obviously, this is a huge issue. And the RuneScape page, you see all this. We got dead man mode updates, etc. Right? Even though they didn't even bring dead man mode up on their Q and A, mod ash tweets 400 likes. Where do we find this fucking update? Let's just scroll down. Oh, right there. Oh, <laughs> what's that? Oh, news. it's just a little patch that fixed the whole fucking PVP. Like, what are you doing there, man? Get off your <laughs> Ironman, J mods. Put that <laughs> bitch up. Uh, what section. the fuck is this? Yeah, it's right yeah, next to look. seaweed spores are now a bit brighter. <laughs> Fuck off! I, I, uh -huh. I, I did notice that and that was cool. But, yeah, yeah. yeah but they should have it I'm so mad, dude. Like I'm glad it's in the game, but <laughs> what is wrong with people, dude? I, I, think, I think a yeah. table of context would be cool. Like, yeah, PvP, really. UPK, click here. PVM. I want to see an Man, image of a dude care. getting fucked by maces, you know, right next to an update. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can, yeah, you can, you can, what the vid I just posted is me getting effed by Well, I mean, guys. on the RuneScape page, though, to like bring oh, some yeah. light into it, I know you get fucked by maces all the time. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I lost claws. I lost claws to that, bro. I would never risk. I, I want now that it's fixed, though. I can go out with claws a little more, you know, uh, with confidence. But that was scary, dude. That was not cool. Yeah, I'm be risking hard now, dude. It's gonna be a good time. And there's some <laughs> other updates. Looks like dead man mode. Uh, the tournament's happening. I don't. I'm not really keeping up on that. Is anyone keeping up with the tournament? No. Um, dude, I'm. I'm not. Sh I usually do, but I. I don't know if I'm playing this time. Ever since like this hand issue, I'm not sure if it's carpal tunnel or what. I'm not really up to par with my PKing yet, and it's just there's so many sweaties and people that use Team Viewer, and I don't want to complain about it, but there's definitely like cheating that goes on, and they get away with it. I played, so, I yeah. complain, so that's fine with me. I mean, there's yeah, just... no, like there's def. I mean, dude, you, when you're in like a clan, you hear about other clans that are using Team Viewer, you hear about what's going on, and I don't know, dude. It's just I, if I don't have people feeding me, you can't really win if you don't have like a ton yeah, of people feeding yeah. you specifically, <clears throat> and then you get those clans that get fed and they PK you in max gear. I mean, I, I have a lot of good things to say about Deadman Mode because I personally think it's the most fun content RuneScape has to offer and that it, it can really help the, their game explode in like maybe an esports direction. Um, but I just think that if they were to crack down on these clients right now, I think that's a big issue. They need to get rid of these clients that are auto-switching for people, that are auto-prayer switching. It's not okay. Yep. Yeah. When, I'm in the middle, when I'm in a fight with somebody, I can easily point it out now because I've seen it so many times. And I just teleport out. I don't even bother because it's honestly cringe, dude. And like, if you want to, like, RuneScape's a niche game, and people should play and who are good. The people that get recognition should be actually good, not like fake good. There are some you know? really good bridges yeah. out there that have there are, no there, there recognition. Are. <clears throat> none, none. So, exactly, exactly. Nate, when you say uh, the team viewer thing, like, I, I'm not fully sure what you mean by that. So, can you expand? Yeah, that? I would like to know. <laughs> yeah, okay. And so, for the audience as well, they probably don't know what yeah. you mean. It's very simple. Basically, like I play 24 hours today. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Hey, dude, you want to hop on my my account? You're in you're in freaking you're in Africa, bro. You want to play my account? Here's my uh -huh. team viewer password. Gotcha. He can log on to my account from his computer, without so it getting account. around the IP change there. Yeah, so it's yeah, the same. Yeah. It's the same as the Infernal Caves because that's how they do those. Yeah, but yeah. those people get so. banned for it, so they could technically ban the people that are doing that in Dead Yeah, I, I think there's a lot, bigger there's scale a lot more though. to it. It's harder. There's a lot, Right, and there's more to it. I think they. I don't know. I don't do it myself because I don't. I don't know what all they do, but they probably use VPNs. I'm assuming and like really work their way around it. Because I mean, a lot and a lot of people have gotten caught for it, but I'm sure there's a more technical way to do it. Because dude, the internet's sketchy now, bro. People are getting away with yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it is what it is, you know? It sucks, but it's like, that's that's the reality. The amount so. of effort, I just want to say, the amount of effort that some of these 100 plus clans go through this week, if you all get part-time jobs, all right? Eight hours a day, <laughs> pull to your, you're going to make more money. And it's a guarantee, dude. Yeah. All right, nothing <laughs> sketchy. Help out the community. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, you don't right. ten right. grand, motherfucker. Ain't that hundred people working part time for a week, dude? You could easily make that. And you put in the team speak. It's not yeah. worth what they're mm. doing, man. I kind of respect it in a way because yeah. they grind. So dude, do you know what? Work. I've actually just had a great idea from what you've just said. All right, I'm thinking about starting my own clan where I'm gonna get a bunch of people, probably between twenty to fifty members. I'm gonna make them all go out and work eight hours a day part time. And they're going to send all of the money to me, to my PayPal. Okay. Dude, that's exactly and then at the end of the month, I'm going to split that money that everybody's earned. And I'm going to give everybody their percentage. 
and I'm going to keep 30% for myself. Saying it's going towards the servers. Bitch, servers don't uh, cost five that, grand. That, that, that's, <laughs> that's basically what they do for dead man mode. Like, that's literally it. I'm pretty sure, like... You're all the, dogs, the, dude. The, 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 the peons that are in the fucking clan world, they ain't getting no fight. They might yeah. get some crumbs, but the leaders oh, are getting yeah, the fucking yeah. cake, you know? They don't even get their oh, time yeah, in the sun, dude. It's like they have to suicide their own <laughs> members and shit. Yeah. Kill <laughs> yourself for the greater yeah. good. It's like a cult, yeah. bro. It no, is. This year reminds me of Fight Club, dude. No, no. <laughs> yeah, for I mean, real. it depends. On, it depends on the influence and like how good you are. Like, if you're a content creator and like you have influence, like Alfie was probably. I know that um, when he was with Lit, I know this was a few tournaments ago. I was, I think, in the same clan. I was in the same clan as Alfie. It was Lit and like OT and a few others. Um, and like they wanted a big split from me and Alfie. And uh, I think V the victim was a part of that too because he was farming up like his <laughs> sufferings. I remember that time he like he, he swapped the ring of suffering for like 500 mil 07 dude it was insane um uh, but like yeah the, the clan leaders wanted like pretty decent chunks of the split if we won because i mean it, and like fair enough like they got us to the 1v1s you know or like what we're going to um but uh, i don't not, i don't know it just depends just, if it's worth it enough for you I, feel you I just disagree on that whole matter of like that's not how this tournament should be right it shouldn't be like some mafia gang shit where they want to split yeah, and they get you in the finals. I agree. How is that esports ready, dude? You think FaZe is sucking off some clan to get up an attorney? Dude, this shit so it's not even a lot of money, dude. It nah, really dude. isn't. Nah, dude. For a they tournament. You, I, this would, I would love for it. People brought up like Iron Man dead man mode. I don't know if I could They I suicide to their fucking members though. It doesn't work. If you're in a clan, you always have a way around it, dude. Um, for, yeah. I'm going to go through some of the updates just in case people are coming in. They don't know about the new updates for Dead Man Mode. Uh, players are now blocked for making the Ring of Suffering. Huge game changer. They yeah. didn't really tell anybody until it was too late, so people had to like change their plan in like a week. Um, there's now a broadcast whenever a supply chest is. Nah, that doesn't make sense. And a brand new arena has been made for the final 1v1 stage, and it starts with Yay. 256 people. How, was it, how much was it last time? It's so it's yeah, it's, so not really a change. So it's pretty much just Ring of Suffering. And then they do have some seasonal changes. Uh, Barrow's Gloves are going to be coming in a week earlier. So on the 7th instead of the 14th day. Um, more potions are added to the Bounty Hunter store. I like that, to be honest. To be honest. Buying yeah. stuff with Bounty Hunter points is sick. And uh, so good. week 1, Revenants. Week 2, Barrow's. Week 3, God Wars bosses. I don't get that. Why would you lock God Wars bosses... <laughs> Isn't it really hard to get those weapons? Wouldn't you want people to try to go for it? Like by, by the time it's week three, it's too late. Nobody's playing. Nobody's, Nobody's playing. playing. And honestly, by yeah. the, by the time it's week two, dude, maybe people won't be playing. It depends. Like, when was the last? Was the last uh, seasonal? It was that. Was that December? Was that like winter? I think it was. Right. I can't remember. Probably. Yeah, I it's think like, I think it was around then. Yeah. Because they made some really good changes, but it was dead because it was winter time, and I think the track record from what I've seen is that the holidays are always slow. But I think this one will be probably a lot faster because summertime's coming up, and maybe. I think it's going to be a lot more popping. But um. Yeah, dude, uh, some quick tips. If you're playing tourney, get a VLS. You're not going to win. Uh, Zero <laughs> staff. I'm not kidding. Like, I went against the Fool's Leader as my first fight last last tourney. He had a VLS. I had a Stadius Hammer. We had the same stats, same gear, Ring of Suffering imbued, everything. He had, yeah, an AC he had an ACB, though, with Opal Bolts. Uh, that was also... So the ACB with Opal Bolts and the VLS combined versus, like, a Rune Crossbow with drag Diamond Bolts and a Sadius hammer like it's not even a comparison dude so try to yeah go the VLS else. is <laughs> that was go for so much man they're gonna go for more it's, now it's, the suffering's gone too it's gonna be that top it's, item. Yeah, it's, yeah it's top item for sure and the, week four wilderness bosses dude why are you locking those it's deep wildy clan oriented high risk shit i mean don't you want people to play what is bro dead, oh my gosh dead man mode like first seat first like dude First ever dead man mode. Remember this dude, Roll 45? I mm -hmm. just remember like my heart pounding, like I'm with AC, like, oh, we're going to God Wars, dude. I think there's a clan there. Like everyone's like tripping in, in the team speak, like everyone's going in. Like it's like really that that was the hype of dead man mode, bro. Like, that was fun. That was fun. No restrictions oh. at all. Except, Except for, for the like, stream snipers. Other than that, it was fun. The PJ timer is necessary. Remember when Rot used to like kill everyone, dude? Yeah. <laughs> what happened yeah. to that? <laughs> that was spooky, bro. <laughs> Yeah. Bye bye, yeah, J Mod. I mean, <laughs> so what, Nate? Are you playing in this demo mode or not? <clears throat> um, that that is a good question. I I'm not sure if either. I'm gonna be if I'm getting fed a lot. Um, I will potentially go for the W, depending on how much I'm getting fed. I haven't really talked to any of my ex clan members I was with last time, 
But um, if I am, if, yes. If not, probably not because I don't really want to put in 100 hours just to lose. Well, you already stream I, 100 plus hours, though. That's all I'm saying is you already put in the time. That's true. If I put in the that's time, true. I'd but it's stressful, stressful, but though. it is stressful. I can play it. Sure. Here's the thing. I would play it, but I would like to get fed just so I can at least PK for content. I wouldn't really mind like going for the W. That's what like you PK. should go for then, right? Just yeah. for PK and yeah. content in general, but I don't know, man. Yeah. I see it personally. No. My stomach gets yeah. all weird. And I start shitting my guts out. I can't do it. So. <laughs> no, it's, no, I just can't. Yeah, no. Dead, dead man mode turning PKing is definitely one of the most like the most thrills for streamers. I'd say at least for me. I know I I've done it, and that's when I averaged the most viewers ever. Like it was when I was doing that stuff like a few times. I remember I PK'd a whip one time off a bot in like a Varac Brassard, which isn't worth much, but like you know that's still pretty sick. Had, um, that was back before anyone knew that Varax was going to actually win. Remember when they took it out and Varax is like the, the meta? But um, yeah, anyways, that was a fun time, dude. I remember having like 2K viewers for a little bit, for like a little bit, and then like went down to 1K. But like that was insane for me, you know? I was like, dude, yeah, holy crap. That is dope. <clears throat> I'm, doing, I'm doing what I love. I have a lot of people in the chat. It's hype. It's like if you're like a good entertainer or whatever, like you're good at people and like you're you're good at somewhat good at PKing and you, you hold it up. Dude, it's nerve wracking, bro. I was, I was having hella anxiety when I was doing that. Um, but it's so fun. It's worth it for the thrill and for the content for sure. Um, yeah. So I'll, I'll have to message some people and see if I'm getting fed or not. Yeah, I mean, I'd like I to see wanna, you like... slap. I'd like to see you do do that stuff, <clears throat> man. It's. it's fun, hey, man. I, I think in seasonal, like you always have the best. Do you get really hey, good gear, man? I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, I'm praying that I'm, I'll be good to go this season, man. I hope my my clicks are okay see with or with the new PK and I'm doing now. They won't let me tag people <laughs> at the pyramids anymore, man. My snipers are too angry. I got too many haters nowadays. <laughs> I, I, want to, oh I want to go to the pyramid, kill people with DDS, and then laugh at them. Is that so hard to ask? Get off my ass, sniper. Just let me you gotta, you just gotta, yeah, you just gotta bring like the entangles. And like, I would, I, that's one thing. Day one, like pyramid is so fun because you can PK there without much risk, especially on seasonals. You can, I can. However, you, you got this. No, you got the sweaties that are going to definitely this time around because swapping is allowed this time. So you're going to have people oh, with like dude, full Dude, that's mystic. fucking over. Yeah, I swear four hours in, I was PK and full Mystic, Dammy Flames was coming after my ass. I'm like, I'm in like Blue D Hide and DDS. Like, come <laughs> on, bro. Yeah, dude, like it's it's scuffed. I mean, of course, people were still swapping before it got loud again. But yeah. I mean, we're talking like someone's like, dude, <clears throat> people like Barnes are going to be swapping like 100 mil or something in the first hour, dude, just to get out there for that content. I mean, it's smart. Um, if you have the GP, like I might do it too, maybe. I see. I don't know if this Dead Mamo Tourney is going to be as big as the others because there's a lot of big streamers. I, I think Boaty included. They're not partaking. Right. I've, I've I've heard I've heard about that. Yeah. And my my chat has been telling me like, uh, what are your thoughts on it? I've heard a lot of people that are not going to be playing it, and I think that it's a good thing for streamers to like make a stand for something that needs to get fixed. Um, I'm not yeah, saying it's 100%. completely. It's not completely flawed. It's really not, but it's just like there's a lot of things that need to get worked on, especially like the whole, like client stuff. Uh, the yeah, the client stuff, man. Like just the cheating, bro. Like that needs to, like the team viewing, man. Like that needs to be detectable, like a lot more, I think, and handled more appropriately because it's just an issue, you know. Team yeah. issue, man. No, I, I completely. If this is if if dead my modes to be taken <clears throat> seriously as an esport, then all of that stuff needs to be ironed out, like. In the early days, every J mod like, needs to go I, through. Not, wait, hey, race! Remember when we said like we should just not even care about whether or not to make them the mo an esport and just have an actual elo system, right? But yeah, like yeah. they should just fix them mo just to Ooh. make them mo better. Yeah, Damn, no, I, I agree man. definitely, yeah, just man. To make it better. I, I, for me personally, when it comes to demo mode, like I don't want to play it just because I've done it quite a few times now. Not as much as most people. And I'm already bored of it. Dude, like, I, I loved your Dead Memo videos, man. Those were so good. Oh my god. Wait, my my. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed. Them. I always watched. They them. were just. They, they were, were just like. The I know you just, <laughs> you just. I'm like, where the fuck did this guy come from? Also, in three weeks he's uploading. I'm like, what the fuck? He's just slapping <laughs> ass. I have like mini Torbesta yeah. videos right here. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just it just got old fast. I, I don't know what to say. Like and that's well, how I personally feel about it. Dude, here's the sad part is I would be the only streamer still like remaining, like streaming it, and I would just be running around like talking to my chat and I'd find one person per like hour, dude. Unless it was yeah. Edgeville Bank. It was Edgeville Bank and you have the sweaties just sitting there, you know, like hopping worlds talking crap like and hey, April washed up. You saw like it's being toxic, you know. And it's just like it's the same people every single time. It's the same dude, like same clan. I'm not I'll, gonna name any names. I gotta same think about jokes. their lives, dude. Like you know years after year, the same people do this shit. What are they doing, man? Or did they win the lotto? Or is it McDonald's? Like what are they what job can they do where they can 
full-time snipe and full-time work and then be talk they, there's got to be some kind of combination where you didn't get hugged <laughs> by your catch. parents they, your stepdad they got, beat they you gotta, like, they gotta be living the life bro they gotta be living the life something happened to them man uh and well, look at this the thing. <laughs> they may not have the life so they are you know spending their free time so were their social <laughs> life then be nicer you know we'll give you a hug <laughs> come on bro you know but that's the one thing, man. I try to be nice to him, bro. It's hard. I get triggered too. You know, we're all human, bro. Like, yeah, you you only have so they, much patience, bro. They need love. Yeah, <laughs> they, they just need a compliment <laughs> once in a while. Hey, your <laughs> switch is improving, dude. <laughs> Thanks for killing me again. Just... Bro, I, I did. I remember one time. Um, I think I think it was Pure Spam or someone that hosted like a little streamer get together on seasonal, and it was a lot of fun. I think there was a delay on all of our streams too. It was like me, uh, uh Pure Spam, Barnes. I know AOA Tube was there. I saw that. Uh, that was that was good. We started at the Edgeville Monastery, and I remember my boy Jesse Pinkman was there. A few of us were there. Um, that was a good time, bro. It, it didn't last very long, but I feel like if we did like more streamer content for Deadman Mode, and we have to have delays on. I'm telling you right now, if you don't have a delay, we're getting sniped. It's gonna be awkward to watch. <clears throat> like two to five minute delay. I can personally do like a one minute delay, and you can bank really quick. Um, <clears throat> there's certain spots you want to bank at. You want to avoid Edgeville, avoid Castle Wars, Draenor is risky to teleport into. Yeah, because yeah. Jaja sits there. But you want to just you just want to run straight into freaking Draenor Bank. That's like where all the best loot is, by the way. All the scrub PKers running around Draenor, ah, you know, Port Serum, bro, like Lumber Swamp, really good spot to PK. I think Dude, yeah. do you know what? I got stream sniped on Demo Mode seasonal once. I, I'm just looking at the video now, and I was streaming Demo Mode PK in seasonal. I tallied into uh, the Dune Arena and got sniped, like, instantly. And uh, it's yeah. really funny because these guys had, like, 10 combat levels on me. I fucked them both up, and they were supposed to be, like, notoriously amazing PKers. They ended up dropping their fucking whips to each other because I was slaughtering them. Oh, and, uh, I, mean, I, 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 I was yeah. watching that stream. I was watching. You went up on top of the, the Dune Arena, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, was watching that, bro. That was hilarious. You killed him, for, and then you dropped his whip, gave it to his friend. Oh, my. I remember yeah. That. That was, but I, was, I, I still got, like, his dragon boots. His name was <laughs> Lion Fug. I don't know if that name rings a bell to you guys. Oh, no, dude, oh people, there they you change go. their names. Now you're going to get a dislike, but, but yeah. it's over, Rixie. It's a name <laughs> right No, but I'm just saying, like, I got, I don't care if they stream snipe me, but there's no better feeling than being stream sniped and then just turning it around. Oh, the fucking dude. It is great. Because as soon as I saw him fucking run and he knew that I was standing my fucking grounds, he started to shake, dude. He dropped that whip like a fucking <laughs> pussy. And his friend picked up. And it was, it was instant as well. It was, like, on the ground for a second and his friend picked up. I already know. He was screaming his fucking vocals out on Ventrilo team speak. Get my whip up! My ass is getting pounded by this stream who ah, shouldn't be good. Ah, be gentle, like, Rixie. How, <laughs> how is this YouTuber that makes Slayer content killing me right now? I'm a pro PKer, man. This is my yo, life. Yo, it's Drop ADP the win. All stars all over again, dude. dude. <laughs> Esports ready. We need a sponsor hey, for Rixie, dude. It. It's that's amazing. Great. I love it, dude. When people underestimate me, I PK'd for 10 years, man. Like, this shit's in my blood now. It's like, I know how to PK. It's simple as that. I'm a bit rusty if I haven't done it in a long time. See Mint Mad Cow judging my, uh, uh judging me right yeah, now. He doesn't know what? if I'm good or not. I can see you your know, face. I've, I've seen, I was just looking at a QL. <laughs> no, Rakesy, I've seen your videos, man. It's fucking fun. It's fun to watch. I wish you did more pure content, but, you know, maybe when Bodie oh. gets his age account, we'll all start doing pure content, right? Uh, I'm sure we will. I want to get an infernal cape on my pure. When that happens, I'll. Start I'll let you get one on mine too, dude. Don't worry, it's fine. Is Cody <laughs> plan on we're doing team pure, man. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just want to say, man. Look at these QLL changes. Graphical update to Karumja gloves. This fucker yes. gets a picture. This fucker gets a picture. What the? F I'm still mad that Bounty Hunter teleport <laughs> down here. Karumja gloves get changed. What the? F dying for claws. Right. By the way. Hey, don't I wanna, to... don't want to end up like this guy. Well, guess what? You don't have to anymore. I want to interrupt for one second on the podcast. Ree has been very quiet. I hope you're not doing any of your cutting on redwoods. No, again, I'm my just friend. listening right now. I bro. saw the, I saw the comments on the last podcast, my man. I saw oh, what people yeah, were saying. Yeah, no, I didn't realize I, ha I even had it. On. <laughs> it was so low that I didn't even. Were you cutting redwoods? 
<laughs> someone, someone was like, did you hear the, did you hear the genie or like the sandwich lady spawn at this time? I was just reading it like, oh my god. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> then, uh, I was too busy, I was too busy talking. I didn't even hear anything, dude. Like, I didn't even hey, hear the, the, it, the what came It's out. all good, man. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that they were able to hear yeah, that nah, nah. is crazy. Like, I, I was like, oh shit, what that, what, that was even on the whole time? I didn't even realize that. <laughs> that Are we supposed to be playing RuneScape? I, I thought this was an XP waste uh, podcast. It, I'm XP <laughs> wasting hard very hard uh well the thing is the it's pretty much we went over most of the updates and, and you know it's fucking they change a rock color down here he gives a fuck uh so pretty much mod kirian kirian I, I, sorry kieran. kieran sorry about that he doesn't yeah. follow me back so it's whatever uh one content uh, needs yeah. fixing right 200 likes 600 comments everybody pretty much spammed him any update that needs to get fixed any bug that needs to get looked at and then they come out with a message to our community where they kind of go over this, which is awesome. First time I heard about it. And uh, it's just talking. I really haven't read into this. I think Ree's read into this, right? Yeah, I looked into it. I mean, I can uh, have a quick overview. I, I would love because I find right. right so many updates coming out. I want to know right, what so, they're fixing. So, so this is basically one of those boiling point events where a lot of complaints has been uh, gone unheard. It felt, it feels like. So, for example, um, there's a lot. Of, there's been a lot of complaints about uh, authenticator being bypassed because there's no delay. Uh, there's, you know, a lot of issues of uh, uh, Jagex rushing too much new content but neglecting old content, right? Stuff like bug fixes. You know, you know, the past few weeks has been a lot of bugs and shit, like twisted bow spawns and shit. Another issue is like polling, right? Because I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm. That's my fan favorite. I always talk about how they're idiots for not hiding poll results, and, and also PVP. Like, there's yeah. seems to be a lack of PVP, you know, updates and all that. So like, you know, people have complained about all this stuff all the time for like, you know, maybe even a year or more. more but Jagex has never more. officially said anything in response to any of that, right? So like, you'll always see posts, you know, with like crab raven shit about all these problems. But you'll never. But they, you, they always say, "Oh, Jagex will never respond to this threat," and that's true. They never will, <laughs> except this time they actually did officially on their website, right? So this is nice. the, their message to our community. To so are the, they just talking about it? Or are they gonna go fix it? Because it says account yeah, security, so, so customer basically, support. Yeah, basically what they're saying is, okay, here are the problems that we've heard you guys talk about all the time, and here is how what we think about it, and here is. You know what we can do to show you that maybe we are doing what you guys want us to but maybe we're not showing we're not proving it you know adequately right yeah. stuff like uh player support account security seems um, like they're just listing off things but not solutions but yeah, i guess yeah, exactly. it's a first there's, step yeah there's not necessarily a solution it's more more so that they're acknowledging the fact that yes we understand that the complaints eh, are there and, for solutions yeah you know, the yeah. funny thing is, okay, so account security and recovery, that is a huge one, right? A lot of people have been talking about that. Customer sort, support, absolute trash. Worst customer yeah. support in any game. You have to hit them mm -hmm. up on Twitter, and then they'll be, sometimes I've seen them be rude to people, like, this is not my job, stop. Hey, like, bitch, I'm trying to fucking get a message out, but you guys won't respond, or you flagged it as wrong. You have to message some of these J-Mods sometimes to get anything done. Dude, that's literally what this post is, is to, uh... Yeah. Look at what it says. It says, that's the belief that the only way to contact customer support <laughs> oh, is via Reddit or Twitter. They just, they're, they're, just they're, this fact. is for you. You should have read this, Mint. This was literally for you, dude. <laughs> so angry, dude. Oh my God. The belief. Uh, they're trying, they're trying I, I don't know what they're trying to say here. Like, I guess they're trying to- They're trying to word it to the yeah, point where they're not yeah. guilty, but they know they need to fix it. Yeah, uh, they're what? saying, Go they're for saying uh, the security side <laughs> of things is that their systems are outdated. Uh, if you look- Okay. Well, that's a good that's a good first step that they're yeah. So that, they're know? basically saying, oh, we need to we're we're working on improving that stuff so that we tackle security stuff. It better. says yeah. anti cheating right here, but it doesn't talk about the auto switchers or any actual cheating. Yeah, just bots. I, I, I and are like you concerned about bots? New. Anybody in here concerned about like, bots? Yeah, auto switching stuff. Mate, I, I'll be honest, man. I, I have was no training parts. agility. I was training a Fali doing Alkin, and if it wasn't for the bots, man, I'd have been completely alone. I was just like all these level threes and their bots were so shit they were like stuck on the rooftops. <laughs> so this isn't even like a concern for us, dude. The, the only concern is that people get 
falsely <laughs> banned, right? So it's their concern. They're doing shit wrong because they are concerned about bots. No one gives a fuck about bots. No one, man. Most of people go out in the wilderness and kill the bots for money. It's like almost content for us, man. And they kind of I mean, fluctuate the prices. No, I mean, like, I mean it's always, a bad and good thing. Yeah, but... no, I mean, they always have to take care of bots. I do. I want them to, but I mean, it's not a big but, uh, concern. Anti cheating anyways, would be no, like it, auto switcher. Have you, and, dude, have you seen the emblem, the emblem farming bots? I run into those? them a lot. Uh, I've seen a lot about it, but I don't know what the sh what was the big issue with that. There's like, like twenty. There's, really there's like cheap. ten. 10 level 30 accounts they kill each other for emblems log out log back in get a new target do the same thing they get tier 10s all day long like yeah. mm -hmm. all day long all day long I, 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 what, what are they what are they Probably yeah the thing is they're they're, they're yeah. botting are they and are they selling the gold is that the issue yeah, i mean i mean dude they're bots just like any other they're making gp in the game just like any other bots and they're okay. making it i'd say they're probably the more advanced bots because yeah. man they're doing it non-stop and they tier 10s are like what what i can sell those for two mil each so yeah, yeah racing. Uh, they're, they're, they're okay. literal GP because you can buy stuff. They're pretty. Out. They're pretty complicated. Yeah, yeah. Man, Sir Pugger yeah, made a video. Straight. There's multiple farms. There's like a rune farm. There's an Addy farm. There's a yeah. fucking level five farm with iron on. Dude, <laughs> it's crazy. And there's like multiple. Yeah, I know. It was like level thirteen. Like, you remember when you used to like go around Edgeville and it's just like you see like yeah. priest gowns and like leather bodies like scattered everywhere, like the same exact armor types like everywhere. Yep. And insane. you're like, where did this come from? And you just see these kids killing each other like it's like nothing. And they have to be um, the same combat time. level, or they can't get each other's yeah. targets. But they can't. They don't want other people's targets, so they pick a different. It's really unique. Yeah. I kind of, yeah, I think yeah. it's badass in a way, but no, it's, it should be double. Yeah, no, <laughs> I think it's really cool. You know, some should be double shit. But yeah, okay. um, I, there, I, I mean, I feel like combating bots is always, you know, it's something that they're better at because it's one of well, those Well, because they lose that, money, that's why. They it's, yeah, it's it's one of those things that's been going on. It's like when America cared thing. about the drug war because yeah. like the Americans were losing money to fucking Cuba. Yeah. It was just draining but, uh, the economy, but RuneScape, same way. They're losing money to other gold-selling <laughs> sites instead of buying bonds. It's, yeah, so, it's not a concern for us. It's a concern for them, majorly. majority. I mean, yeah, word, yeah, man. but, you know, I, I, I agree. They should always continue to do the, you know, anti-botting yeah. stuff, right? But, like, yeah, the anti-cheating, you know, account security um i feel like they they just need i mean i i, I guess they're working on it right but it's just like hard to tell so. just they're probably much, working on dead man you know, mode getting that it, fucking no. studio set up putting out chairs I, and shit like, I really like, like, we have to think of them yeah. as separate sections of you know of the company right it's just different people are responsible for different things like like just because there's a lot of anti botting people doesn't necessarily mean that those people can just go straight to player. Uh, to no, you're right. Accounts, you're right. Right. So what they need to do is, I mean, if they aren't already, they need to buff, you know, buff up that section, right? They need to improve their their systems. You know, it actually get some, you know, good specialists, more people that are actually knowledgeable in how to run this type of stuff. I don't know if they are. Uh, it's it's not, it looks like they kind of don't, right? Because like, everyone's always using Twitter and shit, you know, to get some sort of support. I'm gonna but read. Yeah, kind of like I, improve some sort of. Oh my lord! What is that? Whoa! Is there? Bro, there's, 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 there, there's some jets or something. Bro, my. Oh, I think it's Racy's. Uh, if I don't gas know. starts leaking into your room, dude, we'll give you a prayer. All right. No, uh, I can hear it, dude. In me. One sec. If you could scroll up two seconds, I really liked okay. what they put. They yeah. said, um. Oh wait, scroll down a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. we will. We oh, will I was continue. gonna read this. Oh, this part right here? Uh, no. Just up a little oh, bit. Oh, up. Okay, I'll highlight it. There you go, man. From there, yeah, yeah. Do you want me to read it? Yeah, go for it. I was going to read the bottom part. That's my cam for... No, I'm good. All right. We yeah. will continually... I don't know say that word. Survey all players rather than just those on Reddit and Twitter to understand what you think is important from a customer service, uh, support perspective. I like that. Um, yes. The thing is, the, the people who are on Reddit and are on Twitter, I... I kind of understand why they listen to them a lot more than like every everyone else, I guess, because those are the people that like the game so much. Is he getting broken into right now? I hope not. No, it's just hot AF and you're in for turning heat Okay. Off. <laughs> um, <laughs> like the, the people that have gone out of their way to like connect on another social media for the same game, obviously there are people that are very passionate about the game and they have a lot of things to say, right? But... I do agree that the fact that Jagex take a lot of stuff from Reddit and a lot of stuff from Twitter, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing, but I think that they should definitely take... It's skewed. They, they, Very they, skewed. They should listen to all of the players as well. Like, it shouldn't just be those players. Because Reddit be and Twitter can be players. misinformed. Clans can like their own posts. They can bot that shit to make their opinion more valid. Uh, it's just a way to get your opinion out there. And sometimes people will bandwagon on it, but you could post something on Reddit, bot it up, 
you know, hype it up if you have a big enough clan. And uh, you could just skew a lot of it, like Rice said. So it's kind of scary in that fact. Yeah, um, I mean, like, so, you know, you got to think about it from a com- common sense standpoint, right? Does everybody want better account security? The answer should be yes, right? Yeah. So I, I think I, I, don't, I don't exactly understand the whole serving aspect sometimes because I feel like some things are so just glaringly obvious that you don't necessarily need a survey because it's like, um, okay, authentic- authenticator uh, delay. Do you really need a survey for that? <clears throat> Do you think the you reason why it's so hard to get more account security is because there's some black market trading going on that we don't know about, you know? Like, it, you think it would well, be pushed I, I mean, like, a lot sooner, right? It's ridiculous. What yeah, some so, Illuminati so shit like, going on? So I'm just asking, like, I understand surveys are really good sometimes to get, like, a really, you know, solid decision, like, to help make decisions. But, like, I don't understand what's so hard about the, the concept of how important something like authenticator delay is. Because that that will literally stop a lot of people from hacking. Give people the chance to get the response from yeah. the support team, so they can do something about it, right? Because right yeah. now, even if you try, even like say say you know something's happening to your account, right? There's no delay, so that means even though you tell the Jagex support people <clears throat> that it's happening, it's too late. By the time they respond, your shit is already gone. There's got to be some black market shit. Like th- that's you know such saying? an up there. It's so easy to fix and so commonly yeah. heard. There's got to yeah. be some, like, so, oak so die shit going on. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So some I'm like... saying, yeah. It's just like, why, why do you need a survey for that stuff, right? I mean, sure, if you're serving for other things, uh, I understand, right? Or maybe there's some other shit. But I feel like the very o- overarching problems are obvious as it is. <clears throat> and you should at least fix those while you can't, right? Because, obviously, this is multifaceted. There's always going to be some other small things, right? But stuff like authenticator delay. Oh, here we and all go. That, they're, they're just so big. They're so. They're gonna. Big. They're gonna combat the toxicity in game. I just saw that right here. Yeah. And the yeah. bubbles. Finally. You, love with that, you, know? you can like... say the N word forty times on the stream and not nothing. <laughs> nothing. <there. laughs> is there like no racism in the EU or what's going on there? Like. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, honestly, there's like that's... no monitoring, yeah. bro. Why is that's there even like an offensive language, language right? like report button? Really? Even... Exactly. It's like, well, just turn your like blur <clears throat> on. You know, it's like, why do I have to be? You know, if someone's gonna be an asshat. Why do I have to watch out for them? Yeah. Like they're the asshat, right? Fuck. Um, so that's yeah. nice. Toxicity. I was gonna yeah, read. And I mean, there's certain words that are TOS here. that don't even bleep out on RuneScape. No. Yeah. No. But there's other words that bleep out when you have the profanity filter turned off. Then yeah. Like, like the words, I think "sexy" might have been. I know it was like blacklisted or something for a while. A, a mid story. Sexy. Actually, um, I think it was the second TwitchCon I ever went to. I can't remember what year. Uh, RuneScape was there. Deadman Mode was being hosted. All the content creators, and they were hosting a panel for Twitch, taking questions. And people were talking, like, would you like to ask any questions about RuneScape? So I got up, oh, and man. I asked, what are you doing? Oh, big- wait, was it at uh, TwitchCon? Mm-hmm. Uh, so it was at Long Beach, right? I Was it? No, it wasn't Long Beach. It was the one I, before that. I remember you uh, going up. It was the one where we all hung about, about the cabana, remember? Yeah, well, that was either was that last, was that last year in San Jose. That wasn't or? last year. That was like three years ago, I believe. Okay, I might. That's where they had the you... RuneScape after party. Okay, yeah. that was two. That was two years ago. That was at uh, Long Beach. Yeah. No, no, yeah. Long Beach was that. No, no, that was three years ago. Yeah. I remember Long Beach. There wasn't. We weren't that hanging was 20... around. The... No. Uh, Twenty seventeen. <sighs> All right, either so way, was, whatever year it is, yeah, okay? Yeah. I go up and I ask about the toxicity of RuneScape, and I was like, you know, Ayiza, Chris Archie was up there, and I I think they don't like me because I actually wanted to know when they were going to combat this, you know, fucking situation of people just being shitty, deep wilderness to wilderness. It was slowly dying back then. Now it's at a standstill, right, other than revs. And for two months, dude, because that was broadcasted, it was put on Reddit, two months I got stream sniped <laughs> for eight hours a day by the same plan. <laughs> Because I raised the question, when are you going to fix that shit? I am never asking a question. First off, J-Mods don't talk to me. I haven't got an Orba Oculus. Chemistry just got one. All right, good for him, though. I haven't got one. They still don't like me after that question, and I'm trying to help the community and build a wildy. This is some bullshit, dude. All right? So, Bro, they, never I giving a shit they, again. They... Never. Never giving a shit. Bro, cl- clans, like, feed off that, bro. Like, you, you, you like, you put, even if it's, like, a valid point, like you said, like, <laughs> there's actually some issues here. Can we fix it? It's like, oh, meet Mad Cow, he's pussy, and like, or like whoever, like they'll say, like they'll call you out because like you're like bringing up a real issue, 
And it's no. like, yeah, they're the ones. It, 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 I love it, the internet. It feeds them, bro. It's, it's, it's so it's, bad, yeah. dude. I, 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 lo I so love bad. the whole thing, man. I think that story is just the internet <laughs> in a nutshell. It's like you went up on stage with genuine concerns and love. Yeah, you. dude. People saw that you were passionate. Nobody and else had the balls to do that. you Listen, for two huh? months. <laughs> the best Yo, shit I've ever heard. <laughs> I've tried to help out the community many times, and none of it has gotten well for me, boys. Give me a hug, man. Yeah. I need a for hug, dude. So, man. Uh, it's just, you, I'm gonna yeah, give you at the right game. place at the right time. You know? I'm gonna fly like, over to Rice. I'm gonna give you a hug, dude. All right. Yeah. By the way, I, I if I could quickly chip in, I made a, a business email for my YouTube and my Twitter. Like when I hit 100k, I was like, it's time to step my game up, take uh, this shit seriously. You know, I might might be able to get a sponsorship deal. I've just got a fucking email and like, like a few things in it caught my eye. Do, do you guys want to hear what this email says? Know, this, yeah. this is yeah, what's yeah. being sent to me. It says hi. I've been a fan of yours since I saw you doing the One Bill series on YouTube. I really enjoy your videos, and I try to do the same to reach my goals. Now, due to different reasons, it's hard for me to keep following this. I mean, I want to get a Twisted Bone game to unlock more content. I've been doing Raids 1, and I have no lock. What should I do? Also, I have to try, in brackets. Could you sell me your Tebow for my entire bank? 760 mil. <laughs> oh, I did not create this fucking... <laughs> <laughs> to get emails like this. That's not a business <laughs> email. Uh, I, lo I, lo I love it, but like, you know. Dude, I also got that community like, series try. email. The That's community cute, series dude. email, man. And I got sent, hey, man, you PK really good. Can you give me PK lessons, please? Dot, dot, dot. Oh, man. No, motherfucker. Like <laughs> Hell no. Nah. This guy's basically just asked me for 400 mil off of Tebow. In my business email. Hey, but he got that sub <laughs> discount, dude. He's got that sub discount, bro. He definitely deserves it, dude. Yeah, oh, if you don't, man. I will. All right. <laughs> I, I I don't know what to reply to him. I don't know if I will. Yeah, just I, I honestly, don't now. reply. It's not business. Yes, yeah, me, not business. Uh, World that's, 345, that's true, that's true. Deep Wildy, something like that, you know. Bring your cash. See what happens. Um, <laughs> oh, man. All right, so I wanted to read this here. Uh, they're talking about all the updates. Um, we won't promise to moon and deliver an orange, which, what the fuck? Who thought of that? However, Jagex has already scheduled significant work on customer support and account management systems in 2019. You like that yes. one shit? The fuck was that, dude? Uh, I can't get over the moon and the orange. What, what's wrong with these people, dude? These are the same <laughs> people who put the, UK slang, the lore yeah, in tech. Uh, <laughs> that, and this is part of UK. That, yeah. that, this is not ash. Dude, this is, is that, mod ash right yeah, that's, that's, like some, dude, some good shit, man. that's some like i don't know how i'm gonna fit in, in the this UK is definitely world. mod ash i'm uh, like the like the opposite of like freaking uk dude, dude you're, <laughs> you're california in a nutshell man uh some of this is already <laughs> underway in the background and some won't begin until later in the year the reality is that many of our systems are bespoke i don't know what that word what does means that mean? i don't Spoken know Spoken of already no basically they know but they're i guess a lot of it's internal so they're not telling you what's going on okay. exactly they're kind of just giving you a tidbit you know some teasers so yeah just... when they when they say it says meaning we face legacy issues is that regarding the outdated clients they're using or they're yeah the they're client just... is legacy right so well they're, they're it's like, like a riddle it's fucking you know? <laughs> it's like, okay. yeah yeah it's just their right. systems are old yeah, we need to decipher what this is like. Crack Modash, this isn't cracked to clue that. three. What is this, dude? <laughs> I mean, we don't even know who wrote this, to be honest. The spoke meaning, what does it mean? <laughs> Made so for a dumb. particular customer or user. It's okay, like, we got that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just riddles, dude. That is such <laughs> a unique word. It's oh my god, you really gotta riddles. know the lore. Yeah, get it, dude. Crack to clue There's four. I'll be honest, yeah. I, I read this and I, I was just like, okay. We I should go live, crack the It's like, part. man, I, am I dumb or is it just yeah. this guy's too smart? You know? I expect there, there were probably about maybe 2% of the RuneScape population that read this and kind of like fully understood why it meant. No. You know, I'm maybe sure, yeah. I'm sure no, I'm, he I'm was one of those people. Understand it, you know what I'm saying? I 0. think I understand 0%. it. All right. We are working to improve our systems and processes. And in 2019, we have already increased our investment in these areas. And there is more to come. See, Ooh. I understand that. I read, I read the first like part, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> I, I don't know what's going on here. Read the second part. Sounds good. And there's more yeah, to fucking come, dude. 2020. Yeah. You know, fucking... you know what they need to do, honestly? They need somebody that's like the face of customer support. Hit team, me up, dude. And he's just <laughs> updating us on like, oh, we updated our system this week. 
we're hiring X there, there people does need to be week. a face for that there really yeah does. like they need to like have those because people are always like anxious to know when modash has a son and he grows up he could take that role yeah. i think that'll be yeah, good be nice, all, then... uh, is that not public information though like if you've no, already looked not. into if you looked into jagex can you not no, see not the employees information. they've taken on or anything like that nah that's, no we tried sure internal. that's way too internal dude that shit is like I mean, I mean, it's not Bl even Blizzard if it was. So we we to tried to do that for my jet and find info. Nothing. Yeah, that shit was so Unless hard. we okay. fucking suck at information finding, yeah, which could yeah. be possible. Like, they do a lot of their you know stuff. You know, behind to, to be honest, man, if people are getting anxious and anxiety about the new devs and shit, like that's their problem. I don't yeah. think Jagex needs to cater to those fucking weird. Yeah, yeah, guys. yeah. I mean, like they don't. The, the thing is, they don't. I have mean, to think be about so... it though. Two J mods corrupt. We kind of care now. You know what I mean? We kind of yeah. want to know who's no, working for this damn game. There's some shit going on that hasn't happened yeah, in any no, other I'm MMO. Not... Yeah. Um, I, so I, I, wait, I, I, wait, I get so what you I just want to clear it up. I, I don't mean exactly. You tell them. You tell us like, oh, who got hired? Like, no, we're just like saying, you know, what's some, his some, salary? Just, just like some, you know, four hundred one k plans. It's like. Oh, we just updated the server. We hired, a, you know, a, the X amount of people for this job. You know, and yeah. like, you don't have to give out names and like, you know, who their grandma's like, you know, name is. Like, just just things that reassures people. Like, okay, well, they are definitely job title, to position, us. responsibilities yeah. should be public. Yeah, exactly. Should do public. do you think people would be happy if whenever there's an update, it updated the um the devs that worked on that update? I don't or... they already do that, or did they stop doing a that? Bit. I mean, they still do, but like the customers side of things customer support side of things are so not you know what i mean like we don't know about it like they don't talk about it What's like that? ever yeah. rattling dude we, we only talk about update that oh, involves that, this game we only that's, talk me, about that's me dude i'm I'll sorry slap you yeah. mate oh my god all right I, uh, I got a bad habit of playing with like the screw that keeps my my uh, that yeah, was you the like, whole I, fucking I, I, time I, I, you yeah. monster <laughs> Oh my that's, god! That's worse than that like was horrendous, dude. Fuck! Is it that? Is it that bad? Oh, it's the yeah, worst. Yeah, I can hear it. It's literally oh, the man. worst, dude. Oh yeah. shit! Well, my right. bad. So oh my god, that's <laughs> even worse, dude. You guys <laughs> are just a UFO. shitty <laughs> ASMR. Okay. You guys can roast me in the comments. I'm really sorry yeah, if, I, right. if I've been playing yeah, that I long. Yeah, apologize for the worst last week. The <laughs> next part of this, by the way, is even better. All right. We understand that this is our problem, not yours. Ooh, I like that. There we go, finally. But we also want you to understand our situation. Oh, fuck, they're playing the victim. God damn it. And then hopefully see why some of the support you currently receive isn't as good as... There is no support, motherfucker. There is nothing. Please <laughs> do understand. There's very poor support. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Not a thing, dude. You would, can get ragged for literally a year, and the guy would get like a temp ban after his 20th time doing it. None. Please do understand that we are changing that. I hope you're changing it a lot. To be so totally... Bas Boy. Basically, sorry, basically what they're saying then is that the RuneScape client, it's kind of outdated and they're having issues uh, updating the security stuff on there. And that's their way of letting us know like well, having us understand why it's yeah. like there's that. definitely legacy the problems but that? authenticator yeah. and toxicity isn't yeah, a client what, problem yeah, yeah i think what they're saying is their system that they use for the account security is old as fuck but why is it i think surely it should just be like there in black and white yeah, yeah but i think that's what they're should... trying to say is is that they, they don't want to be 100 percent co <clears throat> consensed comparing i can't think of the word they don't want to be 100 percent in the fault Oh, they dude, you messed me up. I know you're. Uh, I can't think of the word. What's either. the word? The word where like you can edit. Transparent. And make something go... Transparent. That's the one. Yeah, you got. Yeah. It. Yeah. Right. Why? Why? They, they've just made this into a riddle, man. Jagex, yeah, just make on, it bro. black, black and white. We finally just, get yeah. a page, and like, it's a fucking crack to clue three. Listen, yeah, I, I, it's I, a little I, wordy. I love, uh, I'll be honest with you. I feel like it's a little I, wordy, right? Dude, I love the very quirky, cool, old school stuff, which is in RuneScape. But when it comes to updates and stuff that people are worried about, just put it in black and white. Mm -hmm. Put it simply so anyone can understand it. Because I ain't the smartest person ever. My education only went so far. Like I don't have a fucking clue what this Preach. rule means. Seriously, <laughs> <laughs> we fix yeah, this. Dot dot. You know, that's fucking. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> to be totally honest, there are no quick fixes. These significant issues will take time to tackle, and we will have to talk about it all openly and honestly as we can in the coming months, I guess. Jagex customer support team members, tools, and systems serve both old school RuneScape and regular RuneScape. So we'll be sharing these to both communities. Who gives a shit about RuneScape 3, dude? They don't got no problems. Just spin a wheel. They get some prize <laughs> money, dude. Who's fucking hacking that shit anymore, bro? I'm just kidding. Don't hurt me, RS3. I know some people watching, dude. Don't hurt me, dude. 
I, I do funny. think that I do find that kind of interesting though. That <laughs> the old school server that is taking the initiative and taking the lead on let's get the security <laughs> up to par, and because we're doing this, RuneScape Free may as well have it as well. Like it, uh, it's not yeah, the other way around. I mean, it's the majority like, of the player base is old school. T to me, yeah. that shows the the people who are old just... school do care. You know, they do yeah. care about this stuff. It's definitely more than RuneScape Free do because they're just going to follow in in that. RuneScape Three has horrible. But there's people take the RuneScape Three. And put it somewhere. Else. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob reference. Sorry. Oh man. <laughs> the, the thing is that um, RuneScape Three actually has horrible security. They'll they'll find old accounts with party hats and shit, give it to a hacker. That game they've hacked J mods. So they've hacked so many people that it's funny that they actually haven't even yeah, well, come across its own issue. Well, no one what, gives you a know fuck. What it is, though. <laughs> Yeah, no, it, it's the games. Does, it's not the. It's not that the game makes security different. It's just that a lot of the accounts in our street are the original accounts. The older accounts are easier to hack because they're e they're more yeah, uh, they're more recoverable. They have right? less security on them as well. And more yeah, exactly. That's so what like the gold is. Old accounts, bro. People are making stacks off our street hacking. There's videos, mm. uh, you know, and then you guy play the little cringy voice, dude. It's crazy, man. It's scary yeah actually, yeah well. like i just want to I, I just want to like reiterate that it's not because it's our street it's just because those accounts are old as fuck <clears throat> okay you know but that means r3 is to blame then because it's the whole game well it's not r3 though it's just those accounts that but yeah but that's all 10 years ago that's all runescape 3 though old new accounts it's all under the same security yeah dude. but they but that account could play the same game right they could they could also just be on old school as that's well. true that's true so uh, yeah it's not exactly the game right but yeah, they still do. I feel like they just shit. need more people. You know, honestly, I feel like their their team is too small. You know, to take care of all the like toxic. Yeah, that's like the biggest that thing. They, they need like good like good qualities, yeah. new staff. Like they need to be willing to hire hire more people. Like we are yeah, hiring because it, it just seems like to me that there's a lot of requests for you know uh, muting, banning toxic players, but there's just not enough people in the in the staff that can actually go through all of them and take care of it. Because it's crazy. Yeah, I feel like, like, yeah. I, I had to go to like Chris Archie, you know, for like griefing stuff before, and he's not even part of that. You know what I mean? He's not even part of that group. He had to like pass the word, right? He had to like. Oh yeah, sir. All right, so I wasn't laughing at you, man. Yeah, no. it's just um... like I, I don't want to do. That. It'd be nice right. if they just had ample people working on that sector that could just take care of so, everything coming in. <clears throat> As somebody that is actually being to Jagex HQ, okay. Yeah. I know for a fact that the old school team has, I believe it's it's definitely under 20. It might be like 16 people that work on old school. RuneScape yeah, 3 actually. has, I believe it's like close to 200. That's so weird. That's See, like staff on let's, there. Let's, let's yeah, just like swap that. Are no, we swapped that. We started getting shit yeah, updates. No, no, but yeah, what, yeah. I, I'm, doing, I'm doing a little bit <laughs> yeah. of research. So I just picked <laughs> up I get profits in 2018. They made 43 million, well, 43 and a half million in profit in 2018, which is a 15, no, a 14.2% rise on 2017. So the company's doing good, but with 43 and a half million, okay, like let's just assume, let's average out, let me let me get my calculator up. Let's well, say there partial are- Partial to the Chinese overlords let, here. All right. Let's say there's 250 people working at Jagex, okay? And I'm gonna average this out and be super, super nice and say they're all earning 50 grand a year, which we all know isn't true. No, okay? no they are no. less. That's 12, <laughs> that's 12 and a half mil, okay? Taking that away from the profits, you know, it's, what, what, what's that, 30 mil profit, yeah? That's how much well, they have. have to talk and about that's, that's being very net, generous with that money. Net profit too. If net those, profit's already be... taken away from the wages, so, Rexy. Well, look, it says here, RuneScape developer and publisher posted revenues of 84.9 million in 2018. What was uh, the actual profit? profit? Profit is up 51%, 43.5 million, what I just said. So, okay. yeah, the 43 would so already be just profit. Yeah, that wouldn't even be yeah, part yeah. of the. Oh, oh, so yeah, that's not. So, so that's profit, bro. Yeah, yeah, 40 yeah. million okay. on like wages, operating expenses, advertising oh, fees. So, like we, we can forget about this 12.5 million making up out of yeah, nowhere. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. 43.5 mil. Like, yeah, like. It, the the dude, wages are still skewed because I mean, they're they're profit, old right? school's like, making oh, more profit than RuneScape dude, 3, but yeah. we have less people. It's crazy. <laughs> I just said they can definitely afford to buy more people. That was worded so yeah, poorly. Like, yeah, slaves. I, I, Sorry, no, yeah, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, Employed. This no really one thought two words off. about it until you said slaves. Yeah. Now it's over. Yeah, it's I over. Know. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, though, know, this, this definitely just goes beyond like what the passionate staff members. I guess are capable of because like a lot of hiring and stuff i think 
has to go through the like the the side of business that will never interact with the player base, right? Like the the corporate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the 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 people behind, like they're bored basically. Those I don't I don't think those people are necessarily involved with the gaming aspect community aspect whatsoever right mm-hmm. they just kind of like okay which sector needs more people and they, they just kind of go on their own it seems like it doesn't seem like there is it, it's just hard like when you know when you have like investors and all that stuff those guys they have some some sort of inf- to to what degree we don't exactly know but they're the one that holds the money purse they have the they have the, the money decision. purse man what are you going to be wearing yeah. when we're going to anything fucking PAX involving East, money <laughs> like up like hiring people and stuff it's probably not within like the, the immediate staff that we know about, right? I don't think they have any control over that, right? So so I guess hiring is like hard as fuck. But you think cause... from the business standpoint, they would see that yeah. old school's making more than RuneScape three. They would definitely. I, I don't know if they are, but I'm not. I'm not really. Oh, maybe not because of like buying issue. keys and shit. Um... Yeah, I'm not. I'm not saying that's like. I don't think that's really necessarily the issue because their their like support team. I don't think has much to do with R three old school. It's just a support team for both games, right? Which and and the, the and the problem is hiring the people, right? It seems like the anytime big money is involved in hiring people, it seems <clears> that there are other parties, right? Like maybe the investment side of things, the board of directors, people, right? That that has the, the actual you know decision making, and they probably don't see the problem because they don't play the game, they don't like interact with the community at all, right? So like people like you know Carrie and Ahmad Ash, they have like no control over that stuff, probably. So that's probably why it's like so vague. It's because getting those guys that actually makes those decisions to actually understand what's going on is like they don't give a shit. Probably, to be honest, they probably just don't give a shit. They're probably just looking at numbers like okay, profits, revenues, expenses. All right, cool, keep it yeah, up. That's yeah, it. It's up. It's running. Fuck it. Yeah. So so they don't they don't even Heavy care. Dude. They probably Dying don't give it. a shit about account security and stuff. To be honest, which sucks. That's well, my that's yeah. how I feel. Here, Russ, I got yeah, this right, for you, man. Right yeah, here. All right. Because they're man. talking about. Yeah polling all right and i know you oh, like polling God. dude we've uh, all seen your request to hide the yeah. poll results we polled it previously <laughs> really you pulled the poll results <sighs> that you could see and they voted no <laughs> Fucking... <clears throat> that shit right they started off with a power sentence my boys it is fucking amazing if you there, want to take it from here, right? So I know you like to pull. Yeah. Okay. Bad. So, so I'm gonna read a good amount of it, right? Okay. All right. Go for it. The truth is, is that we think there's more to address with the poll system than simply hiding poll results. So, so I can agree with that, but that doesn't mean that the hiding poll results isn't the most important. Thing. I'm saying, like, they're trying to like deflect from the, the major problem, right? So just keep that in mind. It's important for us to understand why you want the poll results hidden. Do you, are you serious? Do you need a fucking <laughs> survey? Do you need, no, do you need people to answer that question? Yeah, that, that, that's honestly like dude, the dumbest thing they're ever. They're just giving right. us riddles, dude. They don't parent. fucking care, dude. do they? Dude, I can tell so that Rhee Re is so tilted right now. I love it. Dude, no, you're so the... funny when you're angry, man. Keep going, <laughs> read, keep going. I read that yesterday, and I'm like... The rage Wait, builds. so I, I, you know, I love your choice, <laughs> you guys' choices to make surveys to understand us better. But like, you do actually need a survey to understand why you need to hide a poll. I mean, like, does anybody fucking run a poll anywhere in the world? Like, that is actually legitimate and actually show you the results before the the polling process is over. No, idiot, right? Like, that's just you're dumb. Why would you even say that? Who? That's wrote how this? content creators sway it too. It's like, oh, it's almost like, passing. Go, 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 go. It's like, oh my oh, god, dude. dude. All right, to do that, we need to understand how you feel about polling in its entirety rather than making change without understanding the problem. No, you understand, you need to understand that we already know what the root of the problem is. And it's that because you don't hide poll results, it makes people not give a shit about polling in general. Because if someone sees that this poll has already exceeded 75%, there's no reason for them to give a shit about the yeah. polling since not anymore. Dude, that's like a really valid point, 100%. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, please, like, don't use a real like reason of asking for survey for like other things you know like as a reason to, to kind of cover your asses because there's definitely no reason to survey why you shouldn't or shouldn't hide the poll results you just need to hide the poll results period yeah it's that simple flat out i agree yeah i it. mean maybe maybe 
there's like a, a reason that they haven't spoken about to why they haven't. Yeah, no, because bolts. you know, there's definitely some business side of things that they want yeah. certain yeah. updates to pass, and yeah, I think that's yeah. why. Probably. So yeah, yeah. I feel I feel like here's the hidden agenda is that um, you know, people need to work in, in in their you know, in their company and if there is an adamant uh, perspective where most most things that are being pulled isn't gonna pass then all those people that are working, they don't they don't necessarily need to work, right? Right. So I feel like a lot of it's just there is a um, there is this agency problem, right? There's people working for Jagex that needs to work and need to make updates, but at the same time, a lot of true polling is probably gonna make it so that there's less need for those people to work. So there definitely there's definitely a conflict of interest, right? Because if there's not point. enough updates, those guys don't work, but. But the thing is, using the polling system the right way would probably make them work less, and then they probably might not have work. Also, so, I have a, yeah, I have a little contribution a little here. Yeah, is that they'll poll things that should not be polled, that are so minuscule and non-game changing that no one would give a shit, to feel like they're giving the community power. Because RuneScape is supposed to be a community-driven uh, game, right? It's supposed to be the most community-driven game ever, most updated game ever. So it'll give us these small, minuscule updates to vote yes or no on, which wouldn't make a change. People just say, yeah, whatever, fuck it, bring in the game. And then they'll take these ideas and things that they don't like, they change Lumbridge, etc., and they won't pull them, right? At all. They'll put them in the game, then they'll apologize. Also, they'll take things that they want to pull because they're even bigger, they'll vote no on, and then they'll re-pull them a month later. They want to get shit passed. It's like, it's hidden yeah. under this community game, but really, if we want something to go through, we're gonna keep trying whether you want it or not. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, there's. It just there's seems like they're micro stepping everything. It's everything's yeah. micro stepped and like kind of like beating around the bush and just like, can we just know what's going on? Type deal, like we were explaining earlier with this whole like craft the clue type three. You know, it's exactly. like, bro, I just want like black and white. It doesn't need to be all these complications. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, we've talked about it a lot, you know, like, uh, I, th I think some of the points we summarize is that at, at some point they need to fix this because if they don't, I mean, basically everything's pretty much going to pass almost like, because uh, have you seen the trend, right? It's just things used to barely pass in the first two years and now almost everything should pass. It's always been proportionately like it's just always been going up in yes, right? For everything. People see so an update and they wanted to go through because yeah. they think the game's going to be better, but... In general, yeah, you don't not need all this updates shit. Are, are necessarily good. Do you think yeah, that? Do you think like? <clears throat> do you think that a big population or a big portion, sorry, of the RuneScape community, they don't really know what they want, and yeah. they use obviously the the poll results to kind of guide themselves into voting to justify make... themselves moving the game forward. That's really yeah, I don't really know how to word that any better, but that's yeah. the only thing I can. So really they don't think care, but they'll they still vote. To. Kind of like how oh, no, Hillary said saying, Pokemon go to the polls, you know, just the, the way the way I kind of envision this is that if they were to hide the polls, Jagex might be worried that people's opinions are going to be so split up and not have a clue what, what to vote for, which kind of seems like the case a lot of the time. Yeah, it will nothing will ever pass, and it literally will just be like yeah. 50 50 or like 40, okay. 60. So, well, and then it so shouldn't come to the game, though, right? Yeah, so, so yeah, yeah but. That's the thing. Should it or shouldn't it? Yeah. That's the hard you know thing I mean? about a community game, right? We don't yeah, know yeah. where to draw the line. Because, so, well, um, well, sorry, sorry, one last thing. Yeah, so imagine yeah, if it's like a real, like, it might be a poll that 100% needs to pass. You know, it's something to do with like customer support, like Authenticator, for, for example. It takes two days for the Authenticator to get switched from your account and it's polled. You know, it's like obviously that should pass. And if the polls weren't there, like, who knows? Who fucking knows? When it comes like, to account yeah, security, yeah, like, it shouldn't yeah, be polled. Those don't too. get polled. Those don't get polled. They never no. do. Right, right, right. Never I, I was just giving like a hypothetical. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. So, you know what I'm so saying. here's yeah. here's kind of like what I feel the poll system kind of needs needs to be about. It shouldn't be about uh, making a yes or no on whether or not something should come out. It's more. It should be more about helping them understand what is it that people want in the game and what is it that people don't want right so so no matter how you do it whether it is you know uh yes or no or it's just like gathering um you know feedback none of this should be visible to you during this process right when you go when you survey people to ask them for feedback you don't tell you don't tell people here are the current results for this survey that you're about to do you know what i'm saying because why would you show them that right 
because that's yeah. also going to sway how they vote, be, how they're going to choose their decisions. Because a lot of times people like to go with whatever people say yes to, right? Because they don't want to feel like they're alienated or whatever. A lot of people, are, you know, the sheep mentality it happens all the time. But but I feel like the polling system definitely shouldn't be a, about yes or no. It should more be about understanding what people want, right? Because I think ultimately, like, uh, say, say you know, when the game started a long time ago, like the original, right? Where Jagex was very disconnected with the community and they would just update things as they please. And there was no necessary feedback, right? For them to like gauge how the community felt about something. They would just release and release based on, you know, their own yeah yeah like, <clears throat> for sure thing, right? i got you but nowadays there's plenty of feedback you have so many like you know so many platforms that people rage or praise for yeah, you can't go that. anywhere without criticism on runescape yeah so so it's like why do you actually even need the polling because it, it's so flawed anyways like the 75 percent thing is so arbitrary and the fact yeah, that you dude. don't even hide hide the dude, polling people... results makes it even <laughs> stupider People yeah. probably bought those too. Like they just set up yeah. bots to vote no. Like yeah, yeah. It, so it blows my mind some of the yeah, things yeah. that don't pass on there, and it's so just like biased. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I think it should just be taken out completely. Yeah. I agree with that. I, I mean, I mean, like I'm, I might be a bit radical in saying here, but most games, right? It's not the people. It's not the players that make the decision. It's the people in the company, right? I feel like Jagex should be the ones to make the decisions overall, right? But compared to back in the past when they had to do it all by themselves they should instead implement the feedback right so so they can just actually understand what people want right so because yeah, so if something goes on, in the game and people are negative yeah. about it they're gonna hear yeah. about it and they need to act yeah yeah so like uh, so like the polling system should be converted into a feedback system, to be honest Right, like where there's no random ass thresholds, like seventy five percent of yes or no. You, you mean know, like the little just, happy faces, no, like no, un no unhappy, there's, happy. There's no threshold. Just yeah, yeah, something like here's the question, here's here's the pros and the cons. They really need to start writing those, like the pros and the cons, right? Yeah, uh, yes or no, abstain because abstain means you don't, you, you you still don't have any opinion on it, so you, you're not gonna vote for it, right? And people that do have an opinion on something based on the pros and the cons of this question they'll they'll put yes or no right and of course you're not going to see the results and then once the po that feedback is is closed then everyone can see it right they, they can see like oh how the the majority of the people fared in certain questions and then based on that jagged should be able to make decisions on how to do updates right yeah it should I be a 75 percent barrier it should just because yeah exactly because because now doing it with the way that i that i was talking about now they also have security, right? They also have justification, update something, right? Like if, if you know, something, uh, a question about a certain update, say a majority of people, like, I don't know, 60%, 70% said it, right? And then based on Jagus's own, you know, uh, interpretation of that, they can say, okay, you know what? We saw that this, this was something that most people wanted, so we're probably going to go ahead with it because they don't see anything like, no, I agree. You know, yeah, yeah. It shouldn't. Right? It shouldn't be like yeah. a percentage off doesn't get into the game, right? This shouldn't yeah, be that it, it's small. It's so stupid. That just doesn't make any sense the way so. that it is right now. So, yeah. all right, let's let's discuss one last thing because this podcast yeah. is pretty long. The state of yeah. PvP. <clears throat> all right, and it starts off saying it might seem like we've forgotten PvP, which you, yes, you have. You forgot no, it. You trashed no, it. I forgot. You yeah, fucking, I just, like, forgot. Just a little over. bit, you know. What, what, what's a PvP? I got a hardcore. Oh, this makes me hate it. <laughs> <laughs> touchy topic. Right? I know. It says, but strengthening PvP lot, so. and competitive gaming is a key priority to us or ours. They want a couple thousand people to play Endless Nights for about 20 grand. One dude wins. Yeah, it's real, real priority, man, because that seems really... Play in Dead Man Mode Tournament yourself, grind those hours out, and see how you feel about hours, it. Bro. Been Dude, in like four, been in four tourneys, never again. Absolute shit fest. Fun to watch, though. Our school has had incredible success with our competitive events. Well, you've had good ad revenue and just like bringing people in the game, but I wouldn't say it's a fun and fun deal here. And we continue to enjoy our and engage PvP player base. With that said, there's no quick fix. There's a couple. In the section above, we mentioned difficulties posted by the PvP content. It's crucial to resolve our approach to introduce content geared towards PvPers. You don't, you don't even need to introduce things. You just got to take things out, to be honest, like bugs, toxic, shitty people, 
there's there's yeah. literally a bug where I've seen people <laughs> get barraged I like, okay. in singles. Multiple people barraged in singles. I've seen that shit. I like how you just compared a bug to a toxic person. Dude, dude they are <laughs> squish them. No, that's a that's a big issue, dude. It really is. Raggers like, are literally right. bugs in the game that need to be taken like, out. Uh, Even yeah, the raggers are like, yeah, they're like take the me most out. toxic part of the community, dude. They just need to get out or like 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 freaking chill. And dude, it's a like, very small percentage. You wouldn't even. Inf- they, yo, you gotta hit them with some weed. <laughs> I'll take some, dude. I don't really smoke weed anymore. We did a Joe know. Rogan podcast. Just pull out a blunt. Like, yeah, dude. <laughs> Elon Musk. I'll be a show podcast though. That would... <laughs> Rice. We can do the podcast. Be a little high. We could have some high discussions, dude. Because I'm going over Thursday. Oh, oh, God. Do you guys? <laughs> hey, do you guys ever want to do like a live stream podcast? We're all We've... streaming on Twitch, and we just like get our chats. To maybe bring in like a really good topic. We could like try that. that. Probably like one I mean, chat. You, said you were gonna stream it, and I honestly, I think we were all down. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I was going to, bro, but I was legit passing out by like. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. You know? <laughs> we can always yeah, go for round two. In the- I, I'd be. I think it'd be funny as fuck. If we- uh, but I, I, I just give you great. a warning. When I get high, man, I take like retardation to the next level. Like you won't yeah. be able to talk to me. Next, I, won't be able to talk, I won't be able to talk about anything of like. I'll take you up on that, bro. I'll take next you up on Thursday, that. high podcast because I'm not. Oh, it's not God. legal where I live, but when I go to. It's legal where he is, dude. So we gonna. It's, not, le- it's not legal where I live, though, dude. Like, uh, I know. No one fun. knows you laws. What are you doing? <laughs> the no one knows. Oh no, I wouldn't risk it. I wouldn't risk it. <laughs> mate, do you, know, do you know, remember my uh, Pokemon channel? We were... yeah. me and my mates that ran that channel. We went to Amsterdam. We rented a boat <laughs> okay. and we got really high. We got high. They got high on, my... and I got Mushroom. really high on fucking weed. And uh, we did like Pokemon unboxings. My mate deleted the video instantly. He was like, <laughs> he was like my, my work employees cannot see this because I will lose oh my, my job. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I never That's saw it, so but funny. I imagine it was like the funniest <sighs> thing ever, man. It was great. That's great. I yeah, wish no, I could I, see I won't it. be able to have a real conversation if I was high. I would literally just look at you and start laughing. That's it. It's just... yeah, That's all we I, need I for think... RuneScape updates. <laughs> dude, I, <laughs> I wish I could be like that. I have such a high tolerance, dude. I just, I'm, uh, I'm... It, yeah. It's just a waste of money for me now. I'm missing a clip. Yeah, no, I, I only I only had it once in a while. It was great detox from like school and stuff, but yeah, yeah it's, it's decent. It's okay here and there. Different strains. Right, before we go relax. into a 20 minute drug ramble here, all right, let's jump yeah. back into the PV because <laughs> we get we yeah. get into those, man. Uh, we yeah. want to talk to you a lot more about uh, to make sure we're making the correct decisions. In the past, none of the JMods PK, dude. Have a couple PK and they'll see what the change. It's as easy as that. Uh, in the past, we've established working groups with players who engage in PvP scene, clans, and this approach certainly has its strengths. However, it also means that when it comes to PvP content, we've historically ignored the players who have stopped PvPing or who don't PvP. That's that's a fair point, actually. How are you going to get those guys back in the wild? Uh, so we intend to establish a process to involve those of you who from different groups, so not just clans, maybe people who solo PK, maybe people who've quit PKing, uh, shit like that. We've... We're a thriving MMO full of players who engage in a lot of different types of content. Pretty much PVM. It'd be wrong to not involve everyone, even if the updates are catered towards specific groups. I think they're getting right. somewhere, but it's a riddle. Dude, yeah. I, dude, yeah. just give, a, give us give us an ELO system in the new Prithin We've area. all yeah, we've and all like, asked about that, right? <clears throat> like just eat, like put it in the game. Like don't make it too overpowered. Make it so. My idea was like it's a specific world. You have to go there. Um, it, you go in the lobby, kind of like last minute standing and it randomly selects like a certain amount of players They get teleported into the arena. The buy-in is either one to like 5 mil. You can do as much as you want. There's like a certain buy-in tiers, you know, and it's like 50 to hundred man bracket, maybe 25 man brackets. Um, and it's all randomized. And I think that'd be sick. And like, maybe you have a slight chance of getting yeah. a certain like, degradable we item, maybe like a, a status. We talked about hammer, that. Like, but the yeah, part yeah, we yeah. do is that you go into the queue and you don't have to wait in a lobby. You can just woodcut or whatever, yeah, and when yeah, it slams yeah, you right into the fight when you're ready, you give you like a little countdown, like a system update. And instead of like <laughs> yeah, cash, yeah. it could just go up elos, and maybe if you get to a certain elo, you could start betting money, et cetera, yeah, you know? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, There's dude, a lot of awesome anything ideas. Competitive. Yeah, anything competitive. Yeah, anything competitive. Uh, they but... definitely need to uh, get a lot of players uh, back from... Like, now that Bodhi's really... getting into NHing again, dude, I think we have a good shot, because they don't listen to yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. They listen to Golden Boy. No hate, Bodie. by the way, Bodie, man. I'm jelly. But they, li- <laughs> they listen to you, bro. It's, we're not going to lie here. They do listen yeah. to you. 
Uh, we've discussed reworks to the likes of Bounty Hunter and Last Man Standing. LMS needs God in order to make it playable. Uh, but we want to make sure we are focusing on what the, to make the biggest difference to PvP. We believe that there are more fundamental changes to be made and core blah, blah, blah. Seriously, they're just kind of like beating around the bush. They're like bringing oh. up some stuff. But Hey, mm, hey by the way, you know what LMS could be? It could be like an experimental thing where they could set up the lobby system for the ELO system. Oh, future. yeah. You could, like, I mean go into a is, game of LMS, bro, right? Yeah. And they, they could, could totally... Dude, they can, ex- they, they can, like, pick apart that, that minigame like a freaking dissected frog, that, bro. Like. Well, they, yeah, they, they can use it as an experiment, right? So, for yeah, example, yeah, yeah. the lobbying system and the queuing system, right? So our vision was that we want you to be able to kind of queue up just about anywhere, right? So if you want to skill and chill while you wait for a match, you can Skill up, and right? chill. I really like that. I mean, That'd be yeah. sick. That would be yeah, literally yeah, that's, sick. That's a sick saying, man. I like that. New oh, series. New series. Hey, you, that has to be your new thing, man. You need to start saying that. Chill and chill. I've okay. never, have, have you just made that, that come off the top yeah, of the yeah, dirt? I just said it. I just said it. Skill and but, chill. Well, I, I love listen, that. I, I like that as a podcast idea. We're all like skilling and chilling. We have our Alex. screens on. We're streaming it and like we're just talking to the chat and like getting ideas. Yeah, I mean, if you want chill. it for background, whoever's. When screaming. she comes but over anyway. to Woodcut and unbuckles your pants. Yeah. What are you doing? You know? <laughs> 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 yeah, so so like the whole queuing system, right? So what it once because you know what the problem with uh, Last Man Standing is, right? Getting you know people to, to to do the match. The whole problem is the game, the buying, the prayer points, the looting, the gearing. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like that's the yeah, RNG. That's probably another, yeah, that's a huge that's like meteor of thing. shit that hit that place, dude. <laughs> For, yeah. Escape. Well, yeah. Why don't they? Escape. Why don't they do that? Why don't they have a massive meteor take out Last Man Standing? Like Fortnite. And then for, for for like a yeah, month, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. it's just right. like a fucking massive ditch, and then like a month later, they release the new PvP rank system. See, Halo. that's yeah, inv- innovative, right dude. That'd be uh, cool. Yeah, that would be uh, badass. That like, would build like hype. Kind of like a, a bit like like some kind of like a abyssal like like like, like, like freaking invasion. <laughs> abyssal like invasion. Some part of, you fucking some part nerd. Of Gilador, dude. Like there's an abyssal <laughs> yeah. of invasion. Yeah. And like there's like uh, abyssal like demons everywhere. I like so it. Dude, they I could, I, it could be a meteor, and then obviously a month passes, then they update it. You go inside the, whole the meteor town. cave. There's yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a whole new town. There's like little aliens that you talk to to find out your elo and shit. They well, need yeah, to yeah, fly yeah, us. They okay. need to fly us all. Over. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm so, getting goosebumps, man. Seriously, yeah. fantastic. No, I, just, I just want to narrow it down to like them slowly branching off of the like let like last man standing to an like, actual system. Because like I was thinking. Okay, well, last man standing requires a lot of people, right? And that's kind of be the same thing for an ELO system where you're gonna need a lot of people to mm-hmm. buy in, right? Whatever. So, like, what what if they develop the system first and and just implement it into something that kind of needs TLC, anyways, right? Last man Tender, standing, right? love, like, and care. Standing, that's yeah, like I mean. like at last man standing. I mean, there's a lot of problems, but one of, I think one of the biggest problems is getting enough people to do it, and and it's hard because you have to like forcibly have to get them. You have into to that stream spot. it, yeah. You have to like get 25 people into that one spot to do it, which sucks. Why don't they create the system where you can queue up? Well, they anywhere? need to just put a U tree right next to it, and then I mean, bots would yeah. just gather. You know, just. Look, I, I I know what you're saying, but like yeah. as I, I feel like I've got quite a neutral view of Last Man Standing. As yeah. somebody that's never played it, okay, I'll mm-hmm. throw that out there. The fact that there is a Last Man Standing world, and still nobody goes to play it i feel like that just says a lot about the game itself mm-hmm. like it just yeah. can't be it can't be as good as everybody thinks it is i think the reason everyone thinks it's so good is because you can never play it so when you do it, it feels special yeah but like look look at like castle wars like there's worlds for castle wars and those those worlds are packed because it's a good game like surely last man standing isn't as good as how people actually say no. it is because it's not very popular it's yeah. bad. It's real bad, dude. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I'm not. I'm not saying like Last Man Standing should be like super popular. I, I just feel like it's a good place to start implementing a system that can yeah. be later transferred yeah. over to an actual PvP and dude, thing. That could be cool too, because like, because like think about this one, right? Think about this. Yeah, because like think about this one, right? Like I think trying to create a new system like from scratch, all from scratch, and release it all at once is gonna be way too overwhelming for Jagex. So I feel like if we if if you try to you know add parts of what would eventually make into an amazing PvP system, like you start doing it in parts, right? And then you can like start transferring the the coding that you already did, and and then you start adding it into the official one later, right? It'd be easier. So you say so you develop the queuing system for uh, Last Man Standing, and then when you want to go forward and develop like maybe the Elo system and stuff, it's okay because you you already have the queuing system ready. 
I that swear, you can yeah. easily transfer all they need over. to do is get in a room and talk about these. All we did yeah. for an hour is just talk about these updates, and we have literally yeah. what I would think people would say god ideas you know what i mean just fucking legendary <laughs> epic yeah, game changing yeah. see you well, fortnite see you he... apex game changing ideas dude hire us fucks come on dude uh-huh. we got these ideas baby no i was golden I general idea. eggs all right i mean it's very easy it, yeah but the thing is we all agree like yeah. that's the thing like I, i'm sure when uh adolf hitler had some of his meat in people in the room agreed with him. You did not sure just compare us to idea. Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just giving Please. like a comparison. Like there's surely people out there that disagree with everything. Yeah, yeah. Same no, brothers look a little German. I could see if it. If you do disagree, <laughs> right? Let's form like, a cult. Yeah, yeah. If you do disagree, I mean, leave a constructive, you know, opinion. Right? Because don't you're be like, wrong. Definitely. I mean, you all don't know get, you're wrong. It's just going to be, all the comments are going to be, hey, Rixie, stop fiddling your damn screw the whole damn time that's gonna be the whole <laughs> Yo, conversation yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody here's the oh, thing man. i want to say i want to say something really important right now okay yeah i like like you were saying earlier rice people a lot of people have a sheep mentality bro and this isn't like i'm not some enlightened being okay but i i'm, yeah, no, I'm, I'm i know this too, like yeah. a lot of people listen we we're bringing up really, a lot of really good points some of them are nuanced bro and like the mass of the community is maybe like you know what i mean like they're not gonna really be able to pick up and I'm talking about like life in general, bro. You you, yeah. you you have the president talk about like real issues instead of being like America, America, the best country. Yeah. Like if you don't, if he doesn't go out there and like say, I promise, trust me, trust me. Like, I promise, I promise, I promise, I promise, trust me. Like the wall, like I don't know much about <laughs> politics, but all I know is like, oh, wow. all I know, listen, all I know is that you bring up nuanced topics, man. And people just like shut off to it, bro. So yeah. I think that if we can get like to the core ideas, and really like wake up the community in like this kind of term and like really I get a following. Like we need to get the community like, woke. I feel uh, like yeah, a lot of the community, woke, bro. I feel like a lot of the community are starting to become uh, cognizant or woke. Do you know we should like, there's things. too much Race. division, bro. We gotta come yeah. together and do something about this. Yeah. I like the energy. I agree, I agree. Yeah, no, I, 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 agree. Think, I Racy. think we are onto something. Racy you know? Rice boys, you know what we should do? Open a podcast Twitter, take some of the best woke moments from the podcast, at yes. RuneScape and just post oh, them on Twitter, and they probably get a ton of likes and retweets. I yeah, think it'd yeah, be perfect. That's a good idea. I, we should yeah. start that. <laughs> we yeah. should really start something, dudes. I'm so, not kidding. I'm down. That's so, someone even said on the last video about a Discord for the podcast for discussion. Oh, yeah, I, I saw that I could, comment. Yep, that, I can open a Discord <laughs> channel. I just opened an open PK mass. I wouldn't mind opening like a little part for the Discord room. So, because uh, it's already like, got a like, member base, but I don't know if you guys want to do yeah, something else. Yeah, I, I feel like the podcast kind of needs its own Discord, but I don't know. Yeah, I feel like we can we talk need about to it. To grow though. a bit more, Definitely. maybe at ten thousand subscribers. Because, dude, the Discord's already like I mean, a thousand people, man. I'll tell you, it would bring some people to the podcast. It would bring, it's dope. Can, I, Look, I have a question about the podcast. So I'm I'm new to this. Uh, is it usually just you three, or do you guys always have a special always guest, have somebody? Like, usually, we always try to get yeah. somebody. We usually have okay. somebody. Yeah. Okay. We don't want to just talk of our boring asses, dude. We got to bring the dance boy <laughs> well, on. We, we definitely, I definitely <laughs> prefer to have a guest. No, it's more, more interesting. But nice. if I can just yeah, have a, a, an appreciation segment for our subscribers and viewers on the Old School Escape podcast channel. Like, we aren't the biggest, Grant is, okay? But I have to say, tiny. like, I feel like everybody's just really fucking tight, man. It's nice. It's like we've built a brand new community here. And yeah. I love, I love cool. reading the comments. I love it because... Like, it's difficult for me to read the comments, all the comments on my videos, because I'm not trying to flex. Okay, then. You know. You, know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, like, I can read all of these comments, <laughs> and it's great. Like, I love it. Like, building a community from scratch, like, it's I fantastic. I mean, they're, they're usually better comments than the ones that... Yeah, they're, they're really good. I feel like we have a really tight-knit community, man, and people really enjoy the podcast. And, like, that's yeah, something yeah, yeah. I love. You know, we found yeah. something that people like to yeah. watch, regardless of how big it is or how big it can be. I it's just yeah, want to appreciate the people that are currently watching. Yeah, no, the people it. that comment, like, they're you. A lot of you guys, like, a majority of you guys are uh, very mature. Like, you know, what I mean, I don't, I don't I really go that too, far. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I don't get too salty reading some of the comments, <laughs> though. Some of them are jabs at me because, like, obviously, you know, I bring some people. No one's called me a terrorist. I think. <laughs> I think. But but for the most part, I, I I appreciate like you know the the ones with a few sentences in there that you know they kind of like try to get into the discussion. It's cool because it, it, it give, yeah. give yourself give yourself props. You guys are covering topics that a lot of like people are like either too afraid to cover or like you know it's it's like yeah. you know touch subjects, man. So I think that's yeah. a big reason why you have a you're gonna you're gonna continue to grow a nice niche uh, I mean, community. 
yeah like pers personally yeah, yeah. it's hard to talk about these topics on your own so you know like this topic where yeah uh, podcast with a few people it, it's it's reassuring because like, you know you know these guys are gonna listen a bit you these know questions I mean? gotta and go somewhere huh like, <laughs> and if they disagree and like they're gonna tell me right and it's gonna be you know we're gonna handle it like gentlemen right but yeah i i love i love being able to talk about like some serious issues about this game uh, you know getting yeah. voiced out i guess I, I love it personally because I, I never talk about any of this stuff in my videos. My videos is just me yeah, because you the don't game. want to, dude. People people will literally dislike bomb you just for trying to point that shit out by yourself. Not, yeah, it's, it's just not. That being said, uh, five hundred dislikes on this video would be fantastic. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, lovely. I All right, we, we gotta wrap. It. Sorry, let me before we end. Yeah, your Nate Brown. Where can the people find you, man? Or your social medias? Yo, uh, twitch.tv slash Nate Brow. There's no H in that, though. Um, and then Twitter, it's Nate Brow with an H. We'll hit you up in the um, description. I, I'm going to oh, revive man. I'm gonna revive my YouTube. I just want to give a shout-out to Mint, Matt, Cal, Rice, and Racy. Like, not just for being here, but, like, I've actually reached out to these guys personally, like, before many times. And they're humble. They respond to me, bro. I've, I've reached out to other streamers before, man. And I don't know if they don't like me. I don't care, bro. Like, at the end of the day, no one is, like, we're not all meant for each other, dude. But yeah. these guys um, these guys respond to me, and they've given me genuine answers, bro. I've had questions about YouTube. I, I'm at, like, 6K subs on YouTube, bro. I've kind of been MIA on that. But um, I, I want to get back on that, man. And these guys motivated me and just definitely support these guys. Sub to them, man. Um, I stream full time. That's my thing. Um, I'm actually trying to hire someone to edit for me. Oh, there uh, you go. Yeah, I, I'm like hardcore. I'm, I'm I'm going in on my my Iron Man right now. Um, I recently kind of have like a carpal tunnel, so I can't really PK as much. But I mean, I'm a big passionate PKer, and that's like that's about it, man. Good vibes, baby. Ron yeah. Ace, um, we'll good. put your we'll put your YouTube Hashtag. link at the end of the video <laughs> and all the description, all your links in the description. So check out the video, bro. If you like Dude. the five hype, you know hype mentality, you know like Nate's got, yeah, yeah. he's really yeah. energetic. You know, well, dude, like like, like this that. podcast, man. I just try keeping it real, you know, and like cover yeah. real issues in this. That's what we do. We live you know? in. And that's what it's all about, bro. Someone's got to talk about it, so. Yeah. Awesome. yeah well, I, well I, thanks I, a lot for coming on, man. We really appreciate it, dude. We, definitely, age, man. Wonder what it was. Yeah, good. dude. Let's do this no, more often, you, man. man. And like, bro, yeah, the whole stream, sure. I, the, the streaming idea, bro. Let's make it happen. Let's talk about it in the Discord. Yeah, I man, have you can be the innovator for that. Well, like, if you want to stream it, if we go for round two in the future. I'm down, and I got the whole Discord thing. I got uh, mods that know how to edit Discord really well. But we'll talk, bros. Much love. Um, thanks for having me on. I appreciate everything, man. God bless. Yeah, I know. No Buy worries, some gold, man. boys.